Get out the podcast if you want to act like this, bro. Leave me alone. It's very simple. Hurricane's pussy as fuck. Hurricane's are pussy. Nigga, like, I get I get one on one in Hurricane. What is going on? I don't give a fuck. This is going to be the first and last episode of Move With Love Podcast. You don't even know what we're talking about. All right, everybody. You recording? We live? Yeah. All right, everybody. Welcome to the first trial session of the Move With Love Podcast. How's everybody doing today? Me, Jay, can you get off your phone? Me, Jay, can you get off your phone? Leave me alone. Nigga, get out of the podcast if you want to act like this, bro. Leave me alone. It's very simple. So you're not going to be part of the podcast? Leave me alone, bro. Uh, anyways. Like, bro, what the hold on, no, stop that. What the fuck are we doing? Bro, I already... If you, I, I'll leave right now, I swear to God. Yo, bro. hey, bye. What's up with this nigga? Caleb, talk to your mans, bro. He needs some talking to. Bro. He's gonna eat on camera. We Yo, listen, we just, just do no, this shit. No, fuck that. No, we having a podcast, nigga, eating. He got Starbucks. He munching in the mic and shit. Caleb picking up all the feedback. This shit crazy. It's good content though. All content is good content. I'm not gonna lie. It's good content. No, it's not. <laughs> you feel me? Damn, that shit was clean in the motherfucker. If only that nigga was actually photogenic and not macking on the camera. Like Listen, that. man. Move with love. Always. Even on your worst days, you still gotta move with love, bro. Never let anyone get between you and the cream. Cash rules everything around me. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. Move with love, bro. Shout out to Trev. Shout out to TP Steez. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, first topic of discussion, bro. Accountability. All right? I think that's what we should be talking about right now. Accountability. Accountability. Now, fuck all that. Surviving Florida, nigga. I feel like that is the best thing we should be talking about. Surviving Florida? Just like life in Florida. Just it, it's oh, like I got, I got so wide. Survival tip in Florida that I've always like like noticed. What? If you let a nigga try you once, he'll try you forever. Oh, legit. That's a fact. Nigga gonna run with it. <laughs> you ever let grade school? Like Yo, you let's... start from elementary, nigga. If a nigga try you once, it's gonna always keep happening. That nigga will never look you at you the same. That shit in the butt. Otherwise, nigga gonna fuck with you. No more. Have you ever let someone try you? Yeah. <laughs> so that nigga can try you right now. Oh no, 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 no! I'm saying no business. So, so, nah, so nah. basically, so basically, there's two types of niggas, right? Sure. There's niggas who allow themselves to get tried, and that shit just permanent. That nigga mm-hmm. can get tried forever. But then there's a nigga who might get tried once, but then bossed up, and that nigga can never get tried again in his life. Been that. All right. Got tried Have I ever got tried before? Oh. Probably. Likewise. My girl calling me now. What the fuck going on? I'm not answering. Sorry, babe. Anyways, so yeah, I'm walking, right? So you know, it's separated, that wall. Mm. So I'm on this side. They on this side walking through. So imagine a wall right here. Sorry, Caleb. A wall right here. I'm on this side. They on that side. So I'm walking. Da, 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 da. Then they cut across mm. and they intersect me. So like they go oh, one, hey. one in front, one behind. Pause. So he like, yeah. hey, bro. What is going on? Okay. What is going on? Bro, just do your thing, bro. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move the fuck on. Just go. I'm not ups- I wasn't upset the whole fucking morning, but they just wanna fucking keep trying me shit. Or just walk out. It's we ain't even start. Niggas walking out, answering their phone and shit. I don't give a fuck. This is going to be the first and last episode of Move With Love Podcast. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so yeah. So, buddy, one, one in front of me, one behind me, they, cut, they corner me. Mm. And he's like, hey, bro, you got change? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That boy nigga said, hey, bro, you got change? I was like. But, like, me, oh, I'm from Nova, nah. right? So I already know how, like, shit go down. Like, I know when a nigga, like, because when I'm, when I'm, and Nova used to fight a lot. Like, fighting was, like, a thing. Bro, you got to change is crazy. You got to know how, you got to know when to fight. So I have my hand on my back, because, you know, when you got to fight, yeah. take the bag off. Yeah. So I'm like, 
nah, I don't got no change, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't like, got no change, bro. He's like, eh, I'm like, I'm like, McDonald's got change. No, nah, what? Hold on, whoa. That's what I said. That's what I told oh, these niggas. Nah, he created his own grave, nigga. <laughs> McDonald's got change, bro. What? That's what I told that nigga. I said McDonald's got chains. Oh, they ain't, they ain't had no chains running over. That said, oh word. Yeah. And then I heard, <laughs> bruh, I heard a nigga say, her nigga behind me say, he said something. I said, what? Turn around, boom! Beam my shit. I said, oh! Drop my shit on the floor. And these niggas started, bang, bang, bang. Where your phone at, Jit? Where your money at? Where your phone at? I ain't had no phone. <laughs> hey man, where your phone at, Jit? I ain't even had no money. I just bought it on McDonald's. Hey, I had no money. I ain't gonna lie, when a nigga. In anything aggressive, call you jit. Yo, it's all smoke, Where your phone bro. at? Where your money at? I'm like, bro, I don't got n- Like, I literally had nothing. I didn't have shit. I'm like, bro, I don't got nothing. I ain't nothing. even got it, bro. Please spare me. Nigga, my backpack empty. I didn't, I used to go to school. I ain't bring no notebooks, no oh, papers. Yeah. no. And my my bag was empty. That's I had I mean. homework, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, y'all niggas gonna take my homework? I ain't even, gonna take my homework, I didn't even got it, bro. Well, nigga, you don't need to go to school. Nigga, give me this homework. Nigga. I'm like, bro, I don't even got nothing, bro. So, they... They didn't give a fuck. I got jumped. I went home to my mom. I got jumped. She's like, what? What happened? What happened? Crying, hysterical. You yeah. know how the island people be. Now I got jumped, mom. Niggas jumped me. So then we went to the hospital because my nose was swole. Mm-hmm. And she was like, they took me to the hospital. And this is the fucked up shit about it, right? That weekend, I went out to my homegirl crib. We had like a barbecue. It was like July 4th weekend. We had a barbecue. So... We smoking, we drinking, four mm. locals and shit, young nigga shit, yeah. whatever. So we go to the hospital, and then this nigga's like, the doctor's like, oh, your eyes are really red. I'm like, yeah, I just got fucking beat up. Yeah. Kind of crying too, nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know? So then he's like, do you, like, they ask you questions, do you smoke? I'm like, yeah, I smoke. That's in confidentiality? Or your mom's in the room? Well, look, she's not, he not, she not in the room. Oh, he's like, okay. you smoke? I'm like, yeah, you know, but not really like that, but I smoke. Yeah. He's like, you need to tell your mom. I'm like, tell my mom what? I'm like, okay, all right, I'll tell her. So whatever, didn't go by. My mom come in the room, the doctor's like, yeah, so everything's fine, da da da. And he stopped and he's just like, and I'm like, nah, ain't no way you make me sit to myself right now. I was like, mama, I'll smoke a weed. What? You smoke weed? Oh, that's why them jump you. Da da da. I'm like, what? She's like, they oh. jumped you because you smoking weed? She's like, you had weed on you? <laughs> she know, this is what she said. This is, this is her reasoning for why oh, you jumped okay, me. okay, it makes sense. No, this is what she said. She said, you was out copping weed last night. Mm. Them boys must have followed the car, mm. followed you back, mm. followed you from your homegirl house back to our house, mm. followed me from the house to school in the morning, saw what school I went to, waited for me at the school, yeah. and then when I got home, they jumped me. That was her fucking she logic. She created that whole That's what she said. Story? She told my dad the same shit. Oh, he was smoking <laughs> weed, so the people came back for the weed, and they wanted to jump they in They came court. back for the weed. I'm like... That nigga moving weight, huh? nigga. <laughs> shit didn't even make no sense. I'm like, all right, bro. She was just, just... I got in trouble for that shit. I'm like, bro. And that doctor, he a bitch. If I... Oh, yeah, 100%. He a bitch. But you let that nigga try you, though. So he could try you again. I should have said some shit though, but I was a uh, you know, nah, but I was kind of naive back then. He tried then. you once, he could, he could do it again. Oh, never. Yeah. Mm, I'm the other nigga. Hey, well, you he could never do the name though. I don't we, even know. Really, it's smoke for that Man, nigga. Hey, I yeah. should go back to the hospital, look up my records. Like a booking appointment right now. Like, yo, nigga. what's his name? He violated mm. my HIPAA. Mm. My HIPAA. Oh. Yeah, calling my lawyer on that fuck nigga. Word. These shit. Confidentiality, buddy. Yeah, buddy. If I see you, <laughs> yo, smoke, nigga. Grits, nigga. You <laughs> done for. You. What? Don't Dr. Strange, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yo, niggas but, done for. But yeah, so listen, there's just there's just many things. Like, as a Floridian, you just need to know, bruh. Just, one, don't ever, ever, like, bro, don't ever go between a group of, like, two niggas just posted up somewhere they should not even be, bruh. Because you're going to get jumped off rip. Anytime a nigga asks you, yo, bruh, hey, let me use your phone, bruh. Mm, don't that's one. ever do that's that one. shit. What, let me let me use your phone. That's one. That's a sign of danger is coming. Oh, that's a danger. If a nigga asks you, you good? Yo, bro, you good? That's a sign of danger. Mm-hmm. Run. Mm-hmm. He don't he don't generally care about he how don't. you feeling. He don't. He's asking you. Yeah, <laughs> yo, you good? Yo, yo, bro, you good? Like you don't belong here is what he's saying. He's like, why? Why you all right? Yo, like, you I sure you're supposed to be here? Nigga. You good? That's the, what else? Um. Uh, hmm. Hmm. What I say? You good? Oh, you like straight? Damn, bro. Yo, what what size them is? 
Like, yo. Yeah, what size like, yo, bro, what, what size Let me you use wear, your bro? phone. What size? What happened? Uh, what else? Now, they be asking. They be like, damn, bro. Them shits is fire. No, why don't be saying fire? Because they don't be talking like that. They be like, yo. Yo, th- oh. Yo, them shoes raw, bro. What size you wear, bro? Anytime a nigga say, bro. Yo, just, it's danger. For a size shoe, yeah. it's danger, nigga. He's trying nigga to see if you sentence. rocking his size. Bro, he ends his sentence. And really, he don't care. He don't give a fuck. He don't really care what size he it is. He don't care. He gonna take them off. Bro, let me get some chains. Either one, nigga trying to rob oh, you. Oh, yeah. Two, that nigga, he not even ever gonna pay you back. Three, that nigga gonna rob you, bro. Nah, he gonna rob you. <laughs> he gonna nigga rob say, you. let me get some change. So what you gonna do if you a nice Samaritan? You gonna pull out whatever money you have? Mm. Snatch. Danger, danger. Taking everything. Yeah, your shit's great, kid. Yeah, like you I don't know. got nothing. That's why I tell the nigga, I ain't got no change. Mm-hmm. Bro, McDonald's got change. He said, mm-hmm. McDonald's ain't got no change. He said, how? And what else? How? They got to register. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga be like, yo, I asked a nigga <coughs> for change. And keep in mind, I'm on that. And the nigga respond, oh, McDonald's got change. Fuck nigga, you think I don't know that? Like, bro, nah. He probably it's think smoke. I he, I probably thought he wasn't gonna jump me then. I didn't know what was going to happen. I knew something was going to mm. happen, but I didn't know what was going to happen. That's why I have my hands on my back. I'm just like, mm-hmm. shit about to go down any second, bro. I don't know what, but something about to go happen. Or anytime a motherfucker asks you if you're somebody you're not, like, yo, bro, you da-da-da-da, danger. Danger. Like, for example, I was at Hooters, right? Nigga pulled up on me. Nigga in a fucking uh, truck. Dark-ass tents. Nigga just uh, put down the window and shit. you are like, yo. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm like, you straight? Well, you come on. I don't know why. I just always respond with just this type of energy of like, if I'm confused, I'm just <clears throat> generally asking certain you shit. You straight? I'm like, bro, you straight? It's fighting words. And the nigga like, yo, you da 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 da. He said a nigga name. I'm like, oh nah, that's not me. He's like, you sure? I'm like, oh shit. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't no whip. Can you nigga ask you, is you sure no, after you, you ask sure, his bro, name? You look just like, I'm like, nah, that's not me. And nigga's like, damn. Nah, you look just like this one nigga. Da da da. I'm like, nah, that's not me. Nigga ended up driving off. I was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. There's so much situation where I'm thinking, like, nigga, I'm about to die. Shit grits for me, kid. Mom's never seeing me. Homeboys, everything. Whatever nah, I got, ask you, is, is you so and so? Yeah, that's a problem. It's game time. Is he looking for you? He looking for someone like you. Mm-hmm. And if he can't find that nigga, he gonna find you. Yes, that's yeah. I be a nigga who looked just like that nigga the yo, other day. Bro. Yo, I just seen a nigga who looked just like. It's very, it's, it's not a good thing to have like a, what's, what's it called? A, a memorable face or like a, a familiar face. Mm. In Florida, yo, it's not a good thing if you have a familiar face, especially with a nigga who just causes trouble. Surviving Florida. What else you need to survive Florida? <clears throat> it's hot ass weather, nigga. Yeah, that's a fact. You see a nigga in a tank top. This shit crazy. That's a fact. Listen. You can survive the weather. You got to survive hurricanes. Huh? Bug spray. Bug spray, spray hurricanes. Oh, her. Nah, not no fucking hurricane. You gotta survive a hurricane. Hurricane's pussy as fuck. Hurricanes are pussy. Nigga. Well, like, I get a, I can one on one a hurricane. For real. Oh God, I can one on one a hurricane. Treat hurricanes hurricane. like they pussy. Nigga, we be having can't hurricane hold us. parties. Hurricane parties. Listen, you see what my nigga, oh, you can't even see. Oh, you can't even see. My nigga got you even the, see the drip. hurricane boots. Yeah. Nigga. We'll really 1v1 yeah. on a hurricane. The Steezy 5000s. You mm-hmm. feel me? This is perfect for the rain. Slight shit, nigga bro. Nigga can't fuck me in these, man. What else? Mosquitoes, hurricanes, fucking. Bot it. You gotta survive about it. The Shones. The Shones gonna fucking do you dirty, man. Lord of Shones. Now that's a yeah, that's bro. a fact. The Shone, that's a very important one. The Shones is gonna fucking make or break you. <laughs> it's gonna make and or a lot break of time you. It's gonna break a nigga. It's gonna break you. Cause niggas just ain't ain't got it. Florida man. hoes gonna do you so dirty, bro. Every nigga got that first little heartbreak. Never mm. been the same since. Oh yeah, for sure. I have my my mm. my ex. Mm. <laughs> Stupid bitch. This bitch. Hey, shout out to his ex, man. You built this man into what he is today, man. Fuck shout man. out to you. Stupid bitch. No names will be dropped. This bro. bitch. So, mm. I ain't gonna say his name, but you used to his. Pull... Who? You said you ain't gonna say his name. Yeah. What What that mean? You're gay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a hey. t- let, me, let me finish. Oh, okay. Let me land. So your ex is not his? No. Oh. It's her. Okay, her and... Okay, but uh, the nigga she was oh, talking to... Yeah, she was fucking on you. Him. Know, no, she was not fucking on oh. him. You know the nigga. You used to work with him. I, I, apparently, I know this nigga. You, I know No, everyone. no, you do. We, we both know him. We cool now. Oh, uh, yeah? He used to work with the... um. <laughs> he used to work at the shit. With, uh, the shit. Alex. <laughs> 
Huh? I'm, oh. I can't even whisper. Okay. <laughs> you got the mics on. Yo. Who? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we right? don't know no names. But... They used to live in the same neighborhood, right? Hey, shout out to shout out to you, dog. Yeah. I fuck with you. That's my guy. I hey. fuck with you long way. Cause he's a real nigga. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Shit. Cause we used to hoop. We used to hoop at the Civic Center and shit. And we used to hoop. Mm. Civic Center. We can. Yo. Sunrise Civic Center. That's a landmark. That's a landmark. Sunrise landmark. Civic Center. S A C. S A C. Wellaby Park. Yeah. Trade Winds. Cool. West Wind. So we Yo. used to hoop. And one day he was like, "Yo." Da 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 like this your girl? <laughs> <laughs> right? And I was like, yeah. That's my bitch. <laughs> He's like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's like, we was at the pool, I was at the pool one time and she was there with her homegirls and she was saying, like, da 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 da, like I could get it. I was like, oh word? I yo, wait, your girl told the next nigga. At she either the pool. said it out loud or she said it to him. I don't know. But I'm like, oh word. Oh Ooh, yeah, that, that that oh my. So I call her, I'm like, <laughs> like you went and said, said this. That shit? I said that shit. Oh, I was like, shit. bitch, you said that shit. That like, you done and then I don't know what happened. But I started crying. I ain't gonna lie. But we broke up. I it's broke okay. with, I broke with her right in the day. I was crying because I was emotional. Mm. She just pissed me the fuck mm. off. Passionate. He was passionate. Yeah, passionate. Right. Broke up with her. But he was a real nigga because he had told me, like, you know, most niggas, that's the thing. You gotta survive the shows and you gotta survive the grimy niggas. Cause the a nigga gonna nigga. be your friend and then fuck your dime. It be your dogs, bro. It be your dog. He gonna try and fuck your dime. 100%. Mm -hmm. He gonna try and fuck your dime. But he was a real one because he told me about it. Like, yo, 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 yo. Da, 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 da. So I had this misconception from when I was young, like from middle school, elementary, high school. Yeah. Like, if we homies and mm -hmm. I got a girl and we break up, you can't date her. Right? That's not a misconception. That's no, no, no. Old. But that's what I thought. Um, but in school, okay, because like we homies, uh -huh. I can't date. That's his girl. I can't do that mm -hmm. unless I ask for permission. You gotta get the guy with the green light. Even then, I feel like. You Even know, then, it's still yeah. kind of tricky. Kind of wild. And it's back then yeah. way wild, right? But you just don't do that. Like, no, nah, that's my dog ex. Mm -hmm. I'm not even touching that. He got that. Bomb. When I got out of high school, I was wrong. These niggas gonna try and fuck you down behind oh, your back, and then still be cool and dap you up. It's like. 100%. It's, it's wild. You gotta survive these fuck niggas you too. Gotta out survive here. the fuck niggas of Florida, bro. The fuck niggas, the shones, the weather, the mosquitoes. Fucking. It's like, I just, mm. I'm just so passionate on this. It's just like, bro, one, why are you trying to, why do you even want to engage in anything that your man's dealt with for real? That's a finac. That's a finac. Especially fin on some emotional shit. You're, you're putting your emotions in this shit. Like, you're being vulnerable when your mans was all in this girl, bro. But see, that's why I never understood, too, right? Like, I could fuck with a bitch. Sorry, I'll fuck with a girl, fuck with a woman, stop fucking with her, or I could still be fucking with her, and a nigga will know that I'm fucking with her, and then still try and fuck on it's her. Nasty. And I never understood, I'm like, bro, you realize I nut in this girl's mouth? Yo, I'm I know her face, I know her pussy. I'm gonna you about to go is. eat her out? I'm going to tell you what it is, right? Huh? Niggas, all right, this is... This is what I'm beginning to understand or realize or come to an agreement. Like, niggas, they see you with some shit that they want, and just because they have it, or just because you have it, they in their mind think, oh, if this nigga Kudo can have it, definitely I can have it. So they kind of looking down on you type shit. Type shit. They're looking like, yo, if this nigga like, can do it, I can I can definitely do this shit. Especially this girl bad. Man, I'm better than this nigga is basically what they're, they're trying but to do. But you're think. not. But you're not. You're not, and buddy. even then, it's like, yo, you're going to fuck on her Can't by the same time, me. or you're going to try to, but bruh, it's my bitch. She definitely going to come back and come tell me. Like, we might be and even, even on and And even if she don't, it's still nasty. It's nasty as fuck. But, hey, me, man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell all you niggas out there, leave my bitch alone. Let me tell you something, all right? That nigga shoot. Listen, no, I, I, I do a lot of shit. Let me tell you what I do. <laughs> Let me tell you what I do to my bitch. Since y'all hey. want to think about whoa, trying to take my hey, hold on, whoa. Hold on. Hey, yo, listen. Rated X, Rated right now. X. Rated let me tell X, you something. Right? If any of you fuck niggas out there, then you could try and take my down. Let me tell you something. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before you do this, you you going you going down the dangerous road right now, cause you kind of letting this yeah. shit be open for niggas to try to challenge this shit. Oh no, nah, no, nah, like I know. I'm just saying, like people gonna be like, yo, what this nigga think shit like that? Hey man, I really violate. Come, come test my gangster then, nigga. Hey, but go ahead, proceed, proceed. Listen, anytime you try to talk to that girl, mm. you know what I'm. So you smelling my 
That's the normal shit, though. That's normal. That's you the norm. Me? That's the normality right now. I so, and she like, so she trying to fuck wait, with wait, you. Wait. She she on BC though, right? <laughs> I mean, you say all that, brother. Hey, this nigga is a dangerous. Hey, whatever, nigga. nigga. I. So if any of you niggas think that you want to come fuck with my girl, <laughs> you a nasty nigga, bro. Nasty, cause I get nasty. So, so you just tasting all my nastiness. But it's okay, bro. Weirdos. Weirdos. How are they weird though? <laughs> if they're also nasty as well. It's like nah, cause we ain't that type of nasty. Maybe niggas are mixing fluids and shit. Mm, that's a fact. Do unnecessary or maybe shit. Maybe a girl should be getting the blame too, cause it's like, bro. No, nah, for sure. Herself. Listen, that's another thing too. Let me tell y'all something. If your girl cheat on you, don't go talk to that nigga. Leave Unless that nigga alone. Unless it's your man. Because <laughs> now it's like, bro, you don't respect me as a homeboy. Nah. Your girl cheat on you? Leave that nigga alone. Don't message him. Don't bother him. Don't text him. Don't say nothing. Don't ask. Don't come to him as a man. Mm. None of that. Leave that nigga alone. Go talk to your dom. Because there's plenty of times where a nigga dom will start talking to me or doing some shit and a nigga want to fight me now and be mad at me. Be mad at your girl. I ain't mm. do that. That's a fact, but... Treat your girl right, she won't have to... You, you gotta know, also keep in mind. Niggas, she won't get left. Niggas only coming Treat at you. Treat your girl right, and you won't get left. But niggas only coming at you because they know you. <laughs> they think they know. <laughs> <laughs> they think they know. I'm the wrong nigga to come for, I'm telling you that right no, now. No, I'm just saying. Because I'm a really comfortable she... coming at you because like, nah, bro, I kind of had some type of respect for you, and mm. then this is what you did, rather than a stranger. I ain't do that. I'm just saying. Your girl did that. So, with that information, are you classifying yourself as a Florida fuck nigga? Before? Who, me? No, I don't do that. I don't violate happy homes, bro. But a lot of people, you said, come at you and shit. They, they just be you. haters, bro. Niggas, niggas be niggas hating really on me. Niggas be hating, bro. <coughs> niggas be hating, bro. Niggas see you got the slightest bit of motion, hate. <coughs> Immediate hate. And it's like, bro, we all can get the motion, nigga. Like, there's no reason to hate. No, no, we can't. Why not? I ain't gonna lie. He right. Fuck y'all, niggas. We all can't get the motion. Fuck Some y'all, niggas. Some niggas got motion, and some of y'all niggas is in slow motion. Mm. Feel me? Y'all just watching shit go by. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Say that again? Some niggas got motion. Some of you fuck niggas got slow, slow motion. motion. But you know, slow motion is better than no motion. Nah. Some of these niggas got no motion. And they just watching mm. the slow motion niggas so there's, with it's, motion. It's it's t- there's levels to this shit. You got niggas with motion. Motion. And you got the slow motion. Slow motion. And you got niggas with no motion. No motion. And then and emotion. emotion. And you got the whole motion. The they, whole motion. You got whole motion, emotion, no motion, slow motion, motion. Motion. Yo, it's brackets, nigga. It's brackets. Tears, nigga. Most of you niggas got no motion. Most of you niggas got emotion. Emotions with no motion. What we going on, man? Oh, yeah. So, go ahead. It's me, TP Steez, a.k.a. Steezy. Steezy. You know, you just call me Steezy, TP Steez. Chef Boy R. Steez. I go by a lot of aliases. Will be Farrell. Pass me the Poppy. Mm. Steezy Testarossa. You know, mm. I got... Steezy Keep One. Yeah, that's a fact. Steezy Keep One for show. Sure. Keep One. You know what I mean? Mm. I keep one. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man. It's your boy... <laughs> hey, man. It's your boy Poppy Kudo. See the vision. Kudo. Ricky. Rico. Rico Suave. Ricky! Ricky! The Playmaker. Listen, man. I'm I'm just a regular guy at the end of the day, bro. This is one of three or two or four or five or however many members we got. You feel me? But listen, man, it's Move With Love, and we here. First podcast to touch the waters, man. We about to blow this shit up. You heard? Mm. So, now, what's the next topic, though? What is something that your girl does that pisses you off? Oh, yeah, I got a girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what you what's what's something your girl do that piss you off? Damn. Okay, so tread lightly. lightly. Alright. One thing my girl does that pisses me off, right? <laughs> Look, let me go first. I'll go yeah, first. Go first. Alright. It's under my girl. Question. It's not oh. like she it, she don't piss me off, but it's like my girl come over, then it's gonna sound like some asshole shit, and it's really Yo, not. Lightly, bro. 
And he was like, damn, you just want your girl to want to spend time with you, bro? And so he acted? No. Nah. So like when my girl come over, I can't get on a game. Mm. She get like an attitude with me when I'm on a game. Mm. Even if it's for like an hour or two. Well, sometimes she like, okay, go ahead, play. But like when I'm on a game, I can't be on a game. Mm. If we watching a movie or a show, like me, when I'm watching a movie, I like to talk. Mm. Like, oh, that's some bullshit. I call out shit in movies. She be telling me to be quiet. I'm like, I can't comment on a movie. Mm. Oh, I can't, you can't even make like little ad libs. Can't movie? even. Ad, I can't even ad lib. She will let me ad lib the movie. So she just want bare silence. She's like, you ruining the show. I'm like, what? The show is bad. That's what I'm calling it out. to it, baby. Bro, the show be like we was watching. Okay, we was watching Columbiana last night, right? Mm, and in the beginning, it's a good movie, right? Good movie. So I thought. So I fucking like, thought. You must have watched it four times then. But I watched this movie. And this is why I don't like, like me, I don't watch scary movies. Okay. Cause I be like, I call the bullshit out to prevent myself from getting scared. You know, I mind fuck myself. Like, nah, nah, nah. Look at that. He, I would have ran. You know, I tricked myself. Yeah. We watch a Colombiana. In the beginning of the movie, this little girl about eight years old, right? She go, she run out the building, da 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 da. She go to the embassy. Mm. They get her to the, um, get her passport and all that. Mm. Bum. Eight years old. Mm. Eight. They give her some money, say, welcome to America, mm. right? She in Miami now. She go to the train station. No, first of all, they escort her out the building, out the federal building. It's Colombiana. Still, some people might not have seen Hey, it, if you ain't watched Colombiana, Skip stop right, right now. now, watch it, bookmark it, timestamp it, come back, and then you go see what I'm saying. Yeah, come back to this video, though, you feel me? Yeah, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Anyways. So they tell Shorty, she's like, I gotta use the bathroom. Eight year old girl, mm. keep this in mind, eight years old, no parents, parents are dead. Just her, Dolo, Olo. Eight years old, I gotta use the bathroom. Apparently, this girl is like a fucking ninja, mm. smart as shit at eight years old. She go into the bathroom stall, stay in there for a little minute, pop out, go through the window, they can't find her. Mm. She go to the train station in Miami. She walk up to the train station, the dude is like, Hey, how you doing? Where you going? Mm. The bitch is eight years old. Ain't nobody calling the cops? Ain't nobody concerned? He mm. She's like, I'm they going to Chicago. Right. Okay, that'll be da 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 da. Oh, give it he no, he told her he's like, it's not a it's not a it's not a short drive. She's like, I know. Send me to Columbia. Yeah. Send me to Chicago, nigga. I know where I'm going. Yeah. She said da da da. He said, how much the ticket? Whatever money they handed this girl, and it was it wasn't like no big bills. Yeah. It was like a five on top of it, and then like a little, little wall like this, mm. and some money in it. She said, how much? Hands him a little cash. He sells her a train ticket to Chicago from Miami. A little eight-year-old girl. I said, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is, when? How does this happen? When the fuck does hey, this ever happen? Maybe it happened back then, you feel me? Right? <laughs> now, so then now, she in Chicago. She <laughs> hop off the bus. Olo, Dolo, in Chicago, just walking around. Yeah. She apparently know how to find where she need to go for the next step. No, she walking through Chicago through like the trenches. It's the ghetto, it's yeah. dark, it looks scary. She pull up to like where these gang niggas is like doing gang activity. Yeah. She knock on the door, boom, boom, boom. Just hands him a note. No, she's like, I need to see so-and-so. Nah, you can't do that. Hands him a note. Oh no. Brings her in. This dude is her uncle. He beating a nigga ass. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. They're like, yo, I think someone here to see you. This nigga beating her, beating some dude ass. He stopped, he looked. <gasps> Catalea? It's you? That's the same name as And I'm like, so this little girl just walked from Miami to Chicago through the trenches and ain't nobody stopped her, police not concerned, nobody worried about her. They just, they released her. Not even a foster care. Mm -hmm. Nothing. They just let this girl walk out. So I'm watching a movie. I'm like, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. (laughs) She's like, babe, you're ruining the experience for me. I'm like, me me and you both saw this movie already, first of all. Ain't nothing like we never seen it before. I'm like, this shit not even real, babe. Yeah. Like, you all got nothing to say about this? She's like, no. I'm like, nah, I can't watch the movie. So now I go on my phone. I'm scrolling. You're oh not paying attention. God. You're Why not paying you attention. You're not paying attention. I'm like, baby, I seen a movie already. You're not paying attention. I'm going to turn it time off. time at the end of the day, gentlemen. Quality time. That's what Whatever. you fucked up. You fucked up. Quality I seen time. a movie. But my quality time is me talking shit about the movie. I hear you. Now I got to shut up and watch the movie. Relationship, compromise. 
And now I got to sit up and watch the movie. You got to compromise with your girl, G. That's it. That's some fuckery, man. Listen, my girl, I guess, my fucking, what I just don't like is just like, my bitch would never hit me, ever, <laughs> in my life. Because I'd leave. <laughs> I would leave, literally. I'd, I'd leave. But I guess, I don't even know. I, you just I love know. your girl so I much. I love my girl so much, bro. So and you gonna leave me out on the ledge to die. You feel me? My girl, you solid. You feel me? But all right, let's talk about this real quick, right? How you feel about bottles and sections, bro? How do I feel about them? Like, for example, Drake just dropped some whatever that bar of like niggas sharing bottles, like four niggas to one bottle is crazy. You feel me? You think that's crazy? Depends on who you ask. Depends on what club we at. Depends on how much the bottle is. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. Wait, what? what? Now, but look, but now, you got to keep in mind, whatever celebrity says comes to the the norms. Nah, but you got to understand this. Like, Drake, and then now it resonates with everyone, and now people, like, women or niggas, now going to be in competition with other people, like, oh, nah, fuck that. Look at these niggas. Or girls going to be like, yo, you sharing bottles, da, 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 da. You know what I say? That's an ego. You know what I say? Buy your own bottle, then, bitch. <laughs> Straight up. You you, you wearing the lady bottle watching, pocket watching, bottle watching, pocket watching, and you are spending no money, no money. So buy the bottle, then. Since yeah, you got it, since you got honest. it, since Drake is the nigga you look up to, go buy the bottle. Go buy the bottle. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bottles at clubs are ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's three hundred dollars for Amigos, three hundred dollars, bro, two seventy five for Patron, and keep little ass bottle little like this big. Bottles. And then and the alcohol is trash. Chaser, they give you two chasers, cranberry and goddamn probably pineapple juice. And now them shits run out fast as fuck and niggas be mutting that shit. And then also, if you want to get more chaser, now the shit goddamn like $10. Mm-hmm. Bottles in Florida is absolutely fucking bonkers. You think you think that's bad? Go to Houston. Houston? Them yeah. motherfuckers is different. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, when I was in Miami, when, when I went to Houston... I was comp- I was like comparing the lifestyle. I'm like, okay, it's similar, but I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. who's the niggas got? But I'm saying yeah, Houston, Houston is a get money. money town, like it's a get money type of city. Like, okay. Okay. They have bottle wars. Like yeah, bottle wars. I I don't really see bottle wars too much down here like that. Nah, it's because we don't go to the ratchet. shit. The ratchet shit. The ratchet shit got the. And I don't mind. We ain't niggas. never gonna see man no ratchet yeah, shit. Yeah, I got you, it. Niggas having bottle wars and then shooting each other about the bottles later. Yeah, nah, bro, I'm cool. I'm cool. I just wanted to get drunk. I didn't want to catch start no vibe, fire. You know what I mean? I didn't want to shoot nobody, but that's how I go. That's a fact. But Houston, they have bottle wars. Like you, like if we in a section, we get three bottles. Niggas on another section want to buy four. Mm. Now you like, let me get five. Five. Six. Oh, it's a bid. Y'all just going back and forth. Like it's I'm like, and shit. And y'all not even drinking out that much liquor, to be real with you. Nigga, ain't I ain't no gonna reason. lie. Listen, two bottles is good for what? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Two bottles tonight. is good for, for, for the night. That really? shit will do God's work, all right? Because you're really not even really drinking that much, for real. Unless, like, like mm. you know how you normally drink? Yeah. That's how you got to think about the bottles. Yeah, like, that's a fact. Like, all right, how drunk am I going to get off of... Like, you should know your limit, first of all. Like, all right, you, after a few limit. cups, like two cups, I drink two cups, I'm feeling nice. It's flowing. Three cups, a little bit more. Four, mm. five, I'm probably drunk. Yeah. Six, seven, mm. I'm fucked up. Mm-hmm. Don't give me no more liquor. You always want to be, like, a little past the median. That's, yeah. that's a great time right there. You never want to get anywhere further than that. Or so, under, like, if honest. your limit is, like, seven, eight drinks to get you where you start going, you want to be at, like, five, six. Yeah. Seven, five, eight, six. Seven, eight is crazy, nigga. Seven, eight is crazy. You having a time. You having a time of your life. But if you can handle seven, eight, and you still flowing like you're on two, hey, go ahead. Yeah. But you need, like, four, five, six drinks. And throughout the night, you vibing, oh, you shit. flowing, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But the tricky part is when you leave and go to the next spot. Mm. You feel like the meter reset. Niggas always want to go to the next the spot. The next Nigga, spot. I want to go home. Niggas want to go to the next spot. You go to the next spot, you think your 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 meter reset, but really you just still drunk. You just don't feel it as much. Yeah. Then you start drinking again. Two, three, you're done. You're done. Yeah, it's listen, over with. I hate I hate you niggas who always want to go to the next function, bro. Fuck bottle service. Though, Shit really. ends. Niggas ask a question. Yo, what we doing? 
What you mean what we doing, nigga? Why home. you even asking this question? Now now you fucking bringing other people in this shit. They're going to be like, yo, they're going to bite. Ooh, what are we doing? What yo, are we doing? Oh, oh my God, we're doing something else? Where are we going? Yo, where are we going? Where are we going? Nigga, I'm like, bro, nah, bro. I'm trying to go home, especially if I ain't drive. Yo, if you, if you ain't drive, you're grits. You're grits. You got no say. The only, only way to get out of that is to start bitching and complaining and nah, make niggas be, uncomfortable. Niggas be like, bro, come on, bro. We're going to get you a drink, bro. I, I got you. That's what a nigga gonna say. Mm. Bro, I got you, bro. Don't even worry about it, bro. When we get I usually drink, get I it done, you. though. A nigga say, I'll get you a drink. I'll get you a drink, bro. You straight. You sure, bro? No. Yeah, I'll get you a drink. All right, we out. You let you a drink? Yup. I'll let my dog buy me a drink. Yeah, yeah. I'll buy my dog a drink. I buy my dog a drink all the time. My dog, you said nigga. Nigga. Niggas. Niggas mean my dog. Yeah. You feel me? If I say I a nigga. About... So, like, all right, this like, it's like this, right? If I, like, when your girl, this is how you know if your girl cheating on you or some shit, right? <laughs> if she going out, you be like, where you going with, baby? I'm going with my friends. Okay. She say, I'm going with a friend. Who? Who, who bitch? A friend. A friend. A friend. A friend. That's how you know. See, I said niggas, that's like, or niggas. I'm going if I say with, a nigga, it's like, a nigga. I'm going with my homegirl and some friends. That's also danger. Mm. Homegirl and some friends. Homegirl and some friends. So and your homegirl not your friends? Yeah, because keep in mind, if she's going with... Homegirl and some friends, if they all girls, she would have been like, Yo, I'm going with my homegirls. Cause just at the end of the day, they mm. all gonna group them. You feel me? Mm. But I'm going with my homegirl, so specific, and some friends mm. means either this is free game. a mixture of men and women. This is some you free feel game. Me? Probably more men than women. This is some just, free game. Just FYI. You if you're, me? you're talking to your girl, she said, I'm going out with my homegirl her fr and some friends. Some friends? Mm. Dumb some friends and some niggas. Some niggas and Probably one more girl. So it's crazy. When you put that in your mind, her homegirl and some friends. So that means beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. my mind starts beep, beep, beep. tackling. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. Okay. Oh, y'all running a two man. A two show. Bitch. Two man. Two man. Or a three man, man. Might be a three man. Do my homegirls and friends. That means however many girls there is, they got matching niggas yeah. for that. They always got matching niggas. Matching niggas. It's crazy. It's, it's actually crazy. My homegirl and some like, friends. Even I ain't even, yeah. With well, guys, we ain't got nothing. We just say what it is, you feel me? I'm going with my homies. I'm, I'm going, going with the with gang. Dogs. With gang. I'm going with my dog. You feel me? Gang. That's it. I'm going with gang. My dog. Oh, family. And black man don't cheat. That part. That's that's the fact. Black that's man don't cheat. That, it's not in our, like, our bloodline. Our DNA. You know? Just... We, like, built differently genetically mm. to the point where if we cheat, our bodies will explode. It, That's why you see so many black men alive. That is actually a proven fact. Someone just exploded the other day. If you look at the news, cheater. that nigga exploded. Yeah. Cheater. He's, cheater. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. Hey, shout He's... out to you for proving our case, though. But hey, man, you cheated, though, bro. Yeah, don't cheat. You know I mean? Don't cheat. Love your woman. Love your woman. But yeah, so what else? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> What was the question? Can't okay, hope. you know what? Let's talk about it. All right, let's talk about it. Right, Can men and women be friends? Yes. I agree. No, I don't, actually. To an extent. All right. Hold on. Listen, this is why I don't agree. There are like... It's probably a 1% of niggas who are able to actually do such a thing, right? And I fall in that category, 100%. So the thing about it is... Why men and women really can't really be friends is a lot of these niggas, they just... Horny bastards. They just, they're horny as fuck. You feel me? They're mad horny. Mm. Niggas never been around women like that in their mm. lives. So it's just like anything they get on, they're going to automatically latch on. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Thirsty. And niggas just, they don't have no type of discipline. Mm. You feel me? So, for example, I can easily be a female's friend. You feel me? I'm a naturally a people's person. You feel mm -hmm. me? I just... I can gravitate towards anyone. I can make sure everyone has a good time. That's just naturally just what I do. You feel mm. me? And also, my main thing too is I want to make sure I always make people feel comfortable and never uncomfortable. So therefore, I would never even try to, like, I'm going to be very direct. Like, if mm -hmm. I want you, I want you. You feel me? And I'm going to take that approach. Oh, I'm not me. I'm shy. Okay, but I'm not going to take the approach where I'm playing a fucking long game and just hiding in a corner waiting for a fucking... Uh, a rare ass opportunity to shoot my shot. Hey, what's I feel up, like that's some creeper what shit. What you got against the long game, though? I'm, I got nothing against the long game. I'm just saying oh, that's not my up. style. That's my style. Okay, that's your style. 
I'm so, the long game king. All right. He's the long game king. What you but, trying to say? I'm, I'm not saying nothing, bro. I'm just telling you my preference. My, my intentions in the long game be genuine, bro. I don't know you, t- I don't you talking right. about me right I'm now. I'm just saying. You feel me? My, my should be <laughs> genuine. I'm not saying that two can't be true. Both can be true, Oh, right? okay. Okay. Both can be true. Right. So, yeah. So, that's what I'm saying. But there's a lot of niggas who they just can't. They're always going to be flirty as fuck. They're always going to have to have that type of your motive and shit. Energy towards a female to make it seem like, yo, I'm trying to bag, I'm interested, or something of that nature. When, nigga, vibe, nigga, you probably are missing out on the greatest homegirl ever. Because keep in mind, I got homegirls who are more solid than a lot of my niggas I had in my life. You feel me? None right now. You feel me? So you friends with got, your, so you friends with your homegirl? I'm, I'm mad cool with my homegirl for sure. And like, it's one thing. It's like I'll die about them, and they'll die about me. That's just what it is. It's just like, you got to keep in mind, I've been down bad a lot, you feel me? I've been, I've been in very dark, deep places before in my life. And mm. like, the thing with women is they know, the, they know how to come down to the same level you're at, you feel me? They kind of make you feel comfortable, kind of make you feel like, yo, you're not alone in this shit, you feel me? Mm. So I kind of, I generally appreciate that. And I'm big on friendship and shit like that just for the simple fact of, I guess, just in life, like, I wasn't able to have such a strong connection with like my family, so I kind of made sure I built like your friends are your family. A fucking empire of like my friends to make Shame. them into my family. That's how I feel. So it's like my homegirls ain't even really my homegirls; they're like my fucking sisters. sisters. Yeah, that's a fact. And my my homeboys are my brothers. That's why anything that is done to me, I take to the core, nigga. Because it's like, bro, you're not my friend. You're my brother. You're like blood to me. Exactly. That's see. That's what I see. That's where the, I feel like the misconception comes when we get like aggravated with mm. each other, because it's like you're not my friend. You're not. You're my, brother. You're my brother. So why are you violating me? Why are you doing as shit to your brother? Exactly, man. As your brother. Other niggas like, would be like, "Yo, you're taking it too deep," but it's like, nah. It's like I feel you though, because I'm not that close. Like I'm close to my family, but I'm not that close. So like I consider my friends my family. Exactly. That's how I adopted them. Like if yeah. you're my friend, you're my family because I'll do for you. Mm. So I would hope that you would do for me. So, no, I feel that, though. Even my best friend, Sexy Lexi, love you. Shout out, Lex. That's my best friend. And, like, we've always kind of just been, like, platonic and just cool with Mm. each other for the longest. But what I like about her the most is, like, she's, like, my niggas. Mm. Like, I'll tell her some shit, and she'll, like, tell me about myself, like, in the most, like, Disrespectful, respectful way. Okay. To a point where you're like, damn, I, can respect that. I can't even say nothing. I can respect because that. Because she like, she's like trying, like how we talk, like she'll try me and say some shit, but she's saying it out of love. Like, mm. like okay, if you want to fuck with a whack bitch, lame bitch, then be my guest. Mm. And I'd be like, damn, you had to say it like that. You had to say it, but, but like, to. she real enough to tell me like if a bitch is lame or yeah. she's whack or I'm, what I'm doing is lame or is whack, she'll tell me, mm. but at the same, in the same breath, she'll be like, I still support you though. Like she got my back. Real one. With whatever, like no matter what the situation is, right or wrong, she'll tell me that I'm wrong mm-hmm. or I'm right, and still have my back. I respect that. Bro. And that's why I fuck with her the most, cause she just shout out real. Lex, man. Shout out sexy Lexi. Yeah, I, I fuck mean? with you, real one. My doll for life. We've been dog friends since life. fucking middle school. Like I was in seventh grade, she's in sixth grade. Yo, let me let me what you call it. Let me tell y'all boys about this story, right? It's some brower shit. You feel me? Some mm. Florida shit, some Piper shit about me and Trev, right? Our, our dynamic, which is so funny. Like, me and Trev, the nigga came from Nova and shit. So, <laughs> now, it's what? It's probably like first first day of school, whatever, whatever the fuck. Was it senior year? Huh? Senior year? Nah, it was not senior year. Because keep in mind, we had Miss Bar- Barrington or some shit. Or Ms. That Denver. was senior year. That was senior year? Nah. It had to be. It was not 11? When did you come to Piper? I came to Piper... 10th grade, mid 10th grade year, like mm-hmm. mid semester, 10th grade. But I didn't know anybody that 10th grade year. I think it was 11th, bro. It was either 11th or 12th, whatever. What year was you dating? Yeah, no, I know. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, mm. regardless, it was reading class, right? Or English. Yeah. So me and Chad, we had English class, right? Yo, listen. So, obviously, like, in class. Yo, let me. Ah, this is so much to say. It's just like, yo. Hmm. Real quick side note, real real quick, real quick side note. I'm sorry. So, this is the thing. If you ever wondered why, if you go, if like, if you go out, right? 
audio. Oh, you yeah. you picking that up, Caleb? Yeah. And hey, make sure you get footage because I want to record this or like make sure you record the screen. Yeah, I already tried that. All right. So look, if you ever go out in public and you ever pretty much like kind of wonder, a lot of times, like why the baddest shorties, right, are with like a nigga that you're probably just like, yo, what the fuck? That nigga bad? Majority of the time, especially like right now in our age bracket, that nigga want to school her. Once you go to school with a shorty, the mm. chances of bagging her is, is skyrocket. Boom. It's like, bro, it's too easy to bag. Especially if you are charismatic, you are funny, smooth. So you saying all that to say what? I'm saying all that to say life is a great thing. Nah, right? what you saying though? Like I'm trying to understand what I'm you're saying. I'm saying life is a great thing. You feel me? Not what you're saying though. So, yeah, me and Trev, we never really got along. We had like a a playful, hateful relationship, right? Mm-hmm. So we be in class, and <laughs> we always would be trying each other, bro. And I think I was always the one initiating it, right? I was always just like joke around and fuck around and just say some slick shit. But then it became the thing where we would both do it back and yeah. forth. And then like I always just fuck around with this nigga and just try this nigga and say some stupid shit. You feel me? Nigga, and keep in mind, we both tall and skinny. You feel me? Uh, Trev is like, he's still taller than me in that fucking, in that grade, whatever. So that would just be our whole dynamic, bro. And then there'd be many times I'm like, oh shit, this shit kind of getting a little too far. But fuck it. I'm going to run with this shit. <laughs> And then, like, you can tell in this nigga's face, this nigga is, like, bro, he's just annoyed. He's just agitated. And I don't know if his temper was worse back then, but yeah. So nah, definitely worse now. I would just be like, yo, just, mm, yo, fuck nigga. Fuck nigga, shut up, nigga. What's up? What's up? That's just the shit that me and this nigga say. He'd be back like, and what? forth. Oh, yeah? Nigga, what's up, bro? What's up? I'm like, man, fuck nigga, you ain't gonna do shit. So that was just our whole dynamic. And it's just funny to say that that kind of, like, still is, but we kind of, like, it's way more calm. It's like way more calm and way more. Then, then, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just. Because like better. back then we used to like joke around. Because like back then eating pussy wasn't cool. Oh yeah, like oh, in high school, eating pussy was not cool, <laughs> and especially because I was Jamaican, he Haitian. It was like an island thing. You don't really eat pussy, so yeah. like we would joke around like, "Oh, you eat pussy, you eat pussy," and he's like, "No, I don't eat no pussy. Yeah. I don't eat pussy." Or like we'll joke around and be like. Like if a nigga, we see a nigga with his girl all lovey dovey, we will make fun of him. Like, oh, you, you kissing that girl on her forehead. Ah. Like he, he try to act like he too cool for school. Like I don't like that. I ain't, I ain't. I'm just cool, man. I don't even da da da. And then one time I was walking, I seen this fuck nigga in the hallway. Damn. Hey, don't <laughs> let him bust up the cords, bro. I seen this. I seen this nigga walk through the hallway, kissing his girl, kissing his girl on the forehead. I said. Seen that boy, and he see me, see him. He's like, oh, you know, like, the man he got boy, caught. Bro, I'm, I'm like, oh, this nigga kissing his girl, bro. Oh, that boy kissing his girl on the forehead. Quincy, what's going on, man? The fuck you doing out here, man? You interrupting our show? Have a seat. What up, honorable mention, nigga? Have a seat. I, I, have a seat. To, uh, have a seat. Sorry, has to come in. I have to let her in. It's okay. She's okay. okay. Have a seat. Honorable mention. Shout out to right, Nova, Quincy. nigga. Where his mic at? Get this, get this nigga a mic. Mic this nigga up real quick. And we got our first fucking guest. First yeah. guest. <laughs> Game if over. If you don't nigga. know who this guy is, you ain't this is correctly. the star of the Halloween skit that we did. Mm. Damn, nigga. Damn. Sure. Here, put this on. I forget if you need to keep it on. Just keep the keep the mic close to you. Just hold it. Right. No, no, no. You're going to kerfuffle it. Don't kerfuffle the mic. All right, Quincy. Before your girl gets here, what's one thing that she does that annoys you or pisses you off? And don't bitch out. One thing. One thing. But or she, multiple, multiple things. Whatever she do to piss you off. Name something that she does that is accountability. Ooh, she, she don't take accountability? I feel like I give blame too much. For what? Mm. Put stuff a mic that, close. Stuff that originally stems from actions that she's done. Give us an example. Paint a picture. Give us a minor example, because tread lightly, nigga. I don't know. No, you know. I don't know. No, it's in your mind. Examples like that. All right, so what, what did she do? What was the most recent thing she did that she didn't take accountability for? Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I know he got one. Oh, okay, it's crazy. <laughs> for example, like, uh, when we going out, yeah, and say we have to get somewhere at 6, mm. and we get there, like, 6, 6.05, okay. and she's, like, always upset, like, oh, we always late, but... 
it's because of her. Mm. She's taking like mad long to get ready. Make and she's like, hair. oh, I'm not doing anything. That's because mm. I don't got anything to do. My shit is just yo throwing the shorts and the shirt. It's laying on the bed, and laying on the and bed, I, and I'm out in the I car. I my girl the same and I'm thing. Out in the we car. Go, She's like, you home. moving mad slow. I'm yeah. like, I'm moving slow because my shit is forty seconds. Forty seconds, and I'm hey, out. That nigga can do math. <laughs> that nigga can do nah, math. That's a fact. We were supposed to go to the barbecue last week, mm -hmm. and I'm on the we on the game. Yeah, gaming, gaming, gaming. She's like, baby, come on, we have to get ready. I'm talking to the girls. They saying y'all not getting ready because y'all on the game. I'm like, because it don't take as long to get ready. We're niggas. So you playing a game. I'm like, baby, how long until you get ready? She's like, because you do her makeup. I'm like, how long until you done? Oh, uh, like 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll be ready by then. Yeah. I said, wait, how long until you get ready, though? She's like, 20 minutes. I'm like, no, no, not your makeup. Like, everything. She's like, oh, well, I don't know. I got to shower and get ready and do it. I'm like, so you're not going to be ready in 20 minutes yeah. then? Just the makeup. Is the makeup going to be done in 20? Me, I know what I'm going to wear. I'm going to put on my clothes, and I'm going to get dressed. We have another guest starring motherfucking story. Yo, come here. Get up. Switch. 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 Nah, come, yeah, here. Come, come here. 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 Give her the mic. Oh, and just give her the light. Que lo que mami dime. Oh my gosh, please no. We're getting frisky on camera. Yo, yo chill out, bro. Relax. Do that in your own bedroom, Even PG. player. Hey, Tori. Tori. Introduce yourself. Yo. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tori. Hey. All right. Tori, got a question for you. What's okay. one thing or whatever, multiple yeah, what things. What is something that okay. Quincy does to piss you off or annoy you? He answered. Just so you know, yeah. he was like, oh. Oh, he answered? He was he talking answered. shit. <laughs> so tell, go, go That's all I got to say. He said, ooh, yes. Okay. What does Quincy do that pisses me off? Mm. Bro. Now, you know, I can't think of it off the top of my fucking head. But is that much? What's the most recent thing he did that pissed you off? What's the most recent thing that he did that pissed me off? Oh, every single time that you come to my house, I give him a fresh towel. Okay. And then you just leave it on the closet door, and it's so ugly. Every time I come into my room, it looks like <laughs> shit. Every single fucking time, no matter what. And I'm like, damn. I'm trying to keep my room all pretty, and he just mm. throws the towel on there to dry. I don't even care about the room decor Doesn't and shit even like care. that. My girl hate like that, that shit, too. I just come in the room, and I'll, text, I'll just he drop just it. drops She's everything. like, why are you just dropping it? Like, my, in my room, things have order. In your Wait, room, you can do no, whatever you want. because that's another thing. Every time you come and you bring all your shit... You put it on my <laughs> desk. You put it on my freaking ottoman. I can't even move. And I'm like, wow. Thanks for putting all your all stuff All right, not here. too much of my dog, all right? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yo. It's still love. You still got to move with love, you know what I mean? She can't wait. Right, so to balance that out, mm -hmm. what's one thing that he does that you like? Mm. You feel know I me? Mean? Oh, he's the funniest person I know. Come on, besides me, not funny, yeah. bro. He's besides the funniest me, person. though, you feel me? Ah. This nigga Quincy is not funny, bro. I hey, ain't listen, this nigga never made me laugh one hey, time. Hey, listen, that nigga is a funny nigga, He's bro. He's hilarious. I ain't never, he never made me laugh one time. Damn. Quincy, bro, you funny in my eyes, bro. I don't care what the streets say about you, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> but thank you, Tori. You He's anything a funny else nigga, you that's say it. About Move with um, Love? About Move with Love, you Or just guys? like, yeah, how do you feel about Move with Love? Just say, oh. yo. Move with Love is a good ass. It's a good ass movement. Mm -hmm. I think everybody should move with love that way, mm -hmm. you know. That? If you don't move with love, mm -hmm. how are you finna move? Mm -hmm. That's, That's a, a finna. Fact. Fact. You can't move if you don't move without. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, no everything is shit. vibrational. Everything mm -hmm. is patterns. Everything yes. is, you know, nothing. Everything is frequency. Mm -hmm. If you move with the right frequency, you attract the right energy. Frequency. 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 Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nah, yeah. I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> you should name your son that. Frequency Quincy. Sherwood. Hey. Oh, no. Bobby would love that. Hey. Frequency Sherwood? Oh, Frequency no. Sherwood. I'm going to get Bobby that name, bro. I don't know about that. Free him my name what? is son that shit. Free him from what? Yeah. Free no, him not from free what? Him. Yeah, whoa. Free him from what? Frequency. No, but you're saying free him. <laughs> nah, like. No, nah, you're saying free him. Yeah. <laughs> you think, what, what you trying to say about. Nah, nothing. Oh, what you trying to say about Lil Sis? Nothing, nah, bro. Yeah, it's a great woman right there. Frequency. Man. He on the right. Yo, what's your nationality, man? Shout out your nationality. Na Shout nationality out to the Dominicans and Cubans. Mm. Que lo que. Que. Dime. You know. <laughs> Dime. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. All right, what else we got? That's Why it. are you guys doing this? A uh, podcast. It's a podcast? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was just like a nah, uh, a, a segment. Podcast. Okay. Yeah. What's this topic? Well, it was like, pretty you know, much like surviving topics. Florida. Surviving Florida? Oh, give me a, a tip to survive Florida, especially... Don't drive. <laughs> Don't drive. Don't drive. Your phone down. <laughs> Don't oh, drive. Man. Try as much as you can to just carpool, man. Mm. 
leech off of people for the longest. Because once you drive, mm. it's grits. No, once you drive, it's grits. Then you're the driver. Mm. Oh, you're no. the gas. That's yeah. a finnack. You're in the before, traffic. When uh. I have a whip, yeah. Kudo is a driver. That's what I'm saying. You go everywhere. Now, now, now when I got a whip, Scooby. yo, Trev, drive, yo, bro, yeah, just drive. drive. And then you got to do it because niggas just drive all the time. Hey, I'm going to tell you one thing, though. These niggas are in debt even after they die. For the amount of times I've driven, <laughs> it's like, bro, it's it's it gotta it gotta roll you over. You telling me I got I was the first one in my friend group to get the car. Yeah? I got my car at sixteen. Oh damn. We bro, was hopping in. Hey, shout out Toy Parents, man. Sixteen. Hey, I ain't had yeah, no whip you know till the vibes. this year, nigga. Shit. Shit, I just got my whip. Hey, shout oh, out nice. to your parents. Okay. But yeah, you was the first. I was the first one. So, my car is a Fiat five hundred. For anyone who doesn't know, two door, two very door. small. Cool, cool. I was fitting seven bodies in there after school, going hey, A to B. Pull up a Fiat right like, now so no, y'all can we see what this shit look like. No. <laughs> we was getting out that bitch. It was a clown car, and it was so vibes. Yeah, that nigga Quincy told me some stories. I was like, there's no way y'all fit we seven fit. people camping yep. out for we whatever. Got, we went to Wynwood, seven people. We went to the beach, just pollo, like runs and shit, Chipotle. All, after school, mm. 220 hits. We're out in my car. Out. Hey, man. Listen, but I got a question for you, right? Miami or Broward? Depends. Living, Broward. Doing stuff, Miami. Food, mm. I'm on the border. Mm. I'm on the border because up here in Broward, there's so much food. Like, it's the first time I tried Trini food, Indian food, mm. freaking, like, foods that yeah. are in Miami. Who put you on the Trini food? Quincy. Quincy eat Trini food? Trini. This nigga Trini. I know he's Trini, yeah. but he not Trini. Yeah, his parents will bring like oh, doubles God. and they'll be like, eat this. I'm doubles? Like, oh, so shit. You know about doubles, man. His mom. Quincy. Yeah. Has he brought you Trini food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, free Linda. Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not going to say it, bro. Matter of fact, Quincy, come over here. I got a question for both of y'all. Yeah, come, come here. Come have a seat or something. Quincy, come here. Come here. Share hey, you did the interview in pajamas? Yeah. Okay. Quincy, come here, dog. I look so overdressed. All right, Tori, <laughs> fuck it. Well, okay. we don't want to ruin your makeup. It's right. mad hot out here. Yeah, Quincy, Where come to your spots. I'm going to, well, I was going to go to Milk Money. And then we were going to go somewhere in Miami. And now we're going to somewhere else. It's in, uh, it's in Las Olas. Who, is Quincy come with you? No. Oh. It's in Las Olas. I don't know the place. <laughs> <laughs> you going with a homegirl this time? Yeah, you going with a homegirl? Wait, 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 wait. Who you going with? Who you going with? It's all girls. No, what? That's not we asked you. Who you going with? Friends. <laughs> well, I know three people. You see, that goes with what we said, though. You see what I'm Friends. saying? Friends. Friends. It's, a key, it's key words you got to look for Why? when, you, when, you you, when someone tells you something. Because normally, right, if it was your homegirl, you'd be like, I'm going with my girl. My right. homegirls. I'm going to have friends. it going with my besties or something. Hey, it's free game. Not, no, not, listen, not for you, though. Pay attention. Really... Put shit go over your head. That's so true. So if you say... Say friends, it could be if, anybody. If you, exactly. She say friends, it could be anybody. You see, we but are unbiased. Knows. We have a female saying the same shit. You don't know the other girls because you don't know the other girls. I technically do. I've met them like three times. I just Has don't he? know them, know them. He met them once. So you don't know them? Once. She going with friends, Quincy. How you feel about that? <laughs> How you feel about that? <laughs> How you feel about her going out with some friends? Dude, yo, we asked a question. Can you be friends with the opposite sex? No. <laughs> Quincy, come here. Have a seat. Who said yes? No, he didn't no. say nothing. We asked he didn't that. He didn't say nothing. Look at that boy. That boy's scared. Quincy. <laughs> no. Quincy, come here. Okay, wait. You can be friendly with the opposite sex. But you only you can be friends. But like texting every day, friends, no. That's a red flag. One of them wants each other every single fucking time. It will never not be the case. You gonna text just a random one of your homegirls every single day for no reason? Be so fucking for I real. Do. Wait, but that's your homegirl. But versus someone you just met who's a friend, right? And you all just texting every single day, every single day, every single day. What are you talking about? Yeah, friends. It's, it's like your friends. friends. You're building a relationship. Well, then again, I guess that's what's the problem. You're building a relationship while you're in a Why relationship. Why do you want to build exactly? But you're always building a relationship. What if you had a, you what are if, moving what if you got a friend making... since like school days? They've been friends and they text all the time. That's fine because they know each other. That's what I'm saying. We could be friends with. Yeah. Them. So, are, so you're basically saying like if it's some new shit. If it's new usually, shit, no. Usually, yeah. Usually, that's, no. That's pretty much what people always fucking that's go kinda with. Because that's kind of like the biggest. No friend new friend. friends, Quincy. No new friends, brother. Oh, yeah, sorry. No new friends, bro. Yeah. That boy Quincy ran. He's scared. No. Why Bro, not? are you? Yeah, he's he going to fuck the cameras up. We almost done. That's true. That's true. We All almost right. done. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's, let's Wait, see the next question. Um, oh, yeah, shout out to follow me on out. Instagram at Torio Torres. How you feel about that, Quincy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That was a supportive boyfriend. 
Yo, w Quincy, w Quincy dog. Chat, supportive Quincy. boyfriend, man. All right. What with it? You got more okay. questions for it? I got more. Um... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys got one question. Man, he just called his girl. <clears throat> Mm. Called her up like that. See that? Hey. No words. That's a real man. Hey, Quincy, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. You're a W man. W dog. man. That nigga said, mm mm mm. She said, okay, honey. <laughs> hey, man, I respect it, bro. Get up. All right. Damn, I can't ask you this. I want to ask y'all both this together. Yo, come on. Last one. Without y'all getting in trouble. Last one. Beto Bang. Last one. Last Bring one. Your last ass, one. Quincy. Last one, bro. Where's this going? Like, this last one, bro. Literally one question. Yeah, man. Calm down, bro. All right. You probably got to crouch and shit, though. No, another question. No, he can stand right here. I ain't gonna hold it to you. He can stay right there. Nigga, looking like Wizard Kelly, nigga. It's a question for everybody. It's <laughs> <laughs> a question for everybody. Okay. Who wants to answer first? Quincy or Tori? Who wants to answer first? Okay. How do you lose your virginity? Mine's crazy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are we being for real? <laughs> Man, we being yes. fucking for real. You said be fucking for real. Um, BFFR. I was freshman, high school. First long-term boyfriend, we went to Disney World together, and like his grandma was super rich. I'm talking like the rich Miami type Miami, shit, bitch. where like everything is just paid for, like just do whatever the fuck you want. And we got a fire ass hotel, and in that hotel, there was an adults only section, and no one was in the adults only section. In a cabana, by the pool. See, I can't hear a story like that. Cause now I gotta up my shit real quick. I gotta up immediately. My leg, my leg on my bro. head. Like what? Like, yeah. If it wasn't Disney, like I think that's what just cemented. Yo, like, you see? It's Disney. crazy. Yo, it's crazy. No, I'm sorry, Quincy. Go ahead, Quincy. Go ahead and answer. Speak Go ahead, bro. Speak oh, to her, her, her mic. Just take it. Yeah, let's hear it, Quincy. How you lost virginity? Try to lightly. No, nah, don't do that. She just told you in the, the Disney the world. Ever... No, but I, I yeah, you know that. I got a regular story. Yeah, let's hear it. Did she know that? Did it wasn't Kelly, y'all. Did she know the story? Oh, so is did you know that, Quincy? What? How she lost her Disney? Yes. I'd have killed my. Okay. Go ahead, Quincy. Disney, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never see Mickey Mouse again. Ever. As long as I'm alive, you'll <laughs> yeah. never see Mickey Mouse again. <laughs> Go ahead. So I was talking to this girl. I knew her for about maybe a year before, and then we had started talking more as the summer had ended and then i went over where <laughs> went over where to her crib you pull out to the crib oh you pull out in the lex now you gotta paint the whole oh yeah paint the scene, nigga, like, oh. oh my god that's when he crashed his other car oh you you pulled up in another whip nah. yeah i didn't have that car you got dropped off i wasn't driving <laughs> you wasn't driving i had a bike Oh, you put him on the bike? Yo, listen, I got a story w, like that too, my nigga. Nah, let this nigga yeah. finish, bro. Yeah. Pulled up on the bike. I was biking. Ooh. For the pumps. That's the hey, it's crazy. Bike. And then, and yeah, just pulled up. Pulled up. Just pulled up and pulled out, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pulled up and pulled that out is crazy. <laughs> hey, man, listen, man. you the Rizzler, nigga. You already told me the how Rizzler. you Rizzler out her fucking boots and shit, uh -uh. kid. Give me that shit. Give me that shit right now. We got to clear the... No, no, no. <laughs> We gotta hear both. Yeah, we gotta oh, go ahead, Quincy. Go ahead. Hey, you gotta get, you gotta squat down for this one, bro. No, no you got to, you gotta talk your shit. I sauced him up, by the way. Wait, whoa, hold on. That's the next topic. Go ahead, Quincy. What happened? Just what, making sure how you raised her up? Lies. Yeah, how you raised her up? Cause you told me. Oh yeah, how you? Okay, oh, yeah, oh, that was not it. That was it. That was it. Yeah, he said that was that. I want details. Okay, BMX, Tony Hawk. You rode. You rode the bike to the crib, right? Hey. Okay. Look to the crib. Her parents was home? <laughs> no. Nah. Open crib. Have one parent. She only had one parent. That, 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 that be the one. That be the one. <laughs> <laughs> that be the one. So you put her to the crib. Yo, so was you sweating, like, nigga? Like, nah, it was a cool day. It was, it was a cool <laughs> day. <laughs> you you, you nah, biked far? Breezy day. You biked far? Not far for me. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Nothing far for the pools, nah, nigga. Nah, this nigga is crazy. Hey, yo, this guy Quincy is hilarious. So hey, I ain't gonna lie. Quincy is hilarious. Yeah, I see. I see why you like this nigga. He a funny nigga, bro. So he made you laugh. He made me laugh bro. That nigga made him uh, laugh, man. So you pulled up to the crib, and then, like, y'all just, like, it was like in a movie where y'all just started ripping to the clothes off, making out, throwing shit off the table, or y'all just had, like, Regular, a chair has just spawned. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So then, and then y'all, like. Yeah, that's it. The store. I'm trying to understand. Like, Nigga. It was like, it was, 
the, the mom shit. They went oh, yeah. to the hotel. Oh, adult. Got a by the pool. We already knew what time it was. Yes, he knew. <laughs> so. <laughs> you up, you pulling up. Nah, but Hold on, bro. Now let's get caught. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, who is this nigga? <laughs> the nigga say, yo, we already knew what time it was. Got hey, bro, you bro. got it, bro. So, so, so you know what it was. You can't so, okay, it. wait, wait, before this. Drop before the bike ride, right? Okay. Was there, like, was it known that, yo, I'm coming to, like, yeah. direct? Okay. Oh, All right. She knew what's up. It just pull up in the... Nah, because the there's a lot of times where I'm just pulling up just to pull up. You feel me? Next thing you know, okay. risen some shit up, smooth, boom, boom, bomb, bing. You feel me? Okay, sometimes nah. if you go with the intention, like, I'm going to fuck you. Sometimes, yeah, you got to be intentional with everything you, you do. Mm. Go in with that. Mm. Okay, okay. So we got it. All right. Cause that guy. You, you got to dig it, bro. Shit. Fault, bro. You you got, you got, got it, game, kid. Bro. I see. Fault. I see EA it now. Sports. It's in the game. With in this the game. Nigga. Game over, nigga. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. You raised him up. I did. So you you should get the mic first. Who bagged who? Give me this. She bagged you. Are you want you want this out there? I make her think that she's not. Okay, whatever. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. Okay, wait. Is it supposed to be like this? Whatever. Um, so I saw him in NSU and I was like, I had a boyfriend, and I was like, damn, he he he, he wow. <laughs> damn. Like, <laughs> and then I literally like two weeks after I broke up with my boyfriend because I started taking him. He didn't have a car, and I'll take him to the bus stop on Nigga, university. What? Hold on, my girl take any. Wait, 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 wait. I was remember. Let's go. I'm still kind of the only one with a car at this time. Oh, so, so y'all was, was in a friend group. Doing, yes. Oh, We're so in you went in a friend group, group and you seen the nigga. And then as soon as I got in the front, I chose. I was like, that's mine. I literally said, I'm like, that's mine. Right, can I? Can I give my three? Nine? Wait, I'm not done. Hold up. I'm not I ain't gonna lie, but yo, yeah. stepper, you yeah. a stepper. Right. So you I was like, mean? this is mine. Whatever. I break up with my boyfriend, da 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 da, and I tell him, I'm like, yo, the last time that I took him to the bus, I was like, yo, I, I broke up with my boyfriend, by the way, whatever, because we were trying to. So like, you guys were already flirting? Kind of. While you had a boyfriend? But I was like, I didn't want to. You didn't want to be there. Hey, shout out to her ex, man. Fuck you. All right, bing bong. <laughs> Bro, we, we only fucked once in nine months. He was trash, but whatever. Who, your ex? Not you not said that good. on camera? <laughs> I don't care, bro. I don't care. I took his. Wait, card. what did you just say? What, what? He was trash. We only no, talked no, once in nine months of dating, and I took his. Oh, that nigga's low-key gay. He's, he's trash. He's trash, gay, but something. Whatever. Um, and then you know we were flirting back and forth, back and forth, and we had theater class, but different times, same teacher. You know what happens in theater class? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, there was a drama. play, and I was like, Yo, staying after next school. To me. We should, let's go to the play and whatever. You know, I was just doing this in the play, you know, the girl shit. I was like doing this to make it known, like, hey, I want you, whatever. And that nigga's then, probably looking like, right. knowing Quincy, he's just like. Ooh. And then I guess we were flirting. <laughs> we were flirting back and forth for a while, and then I guess we were talking, and then we would just start making out sometimes, and then in the middle of making out, I was like, I, I want to fuck you. And then you after, said that. Yeah. And then after that, we Yo, come it. here, nigga, again, <laughs> dog. You was a stepper. We ain't no Yo, stepper. Yo, I don't even want to hear your story. Then, I don't want to hear your story. <laughs> I don't want to hear your story. <laughs> we planned it, and then after that, I was like, okay, I want, I want something more. And then. Oh, you, know, you told him immediately. No. Oh. So it was probably like October and January was like, I want something more. Yeah, like, I want you to be day? my boyfriend. Yeah. Okay, I, remember I respect that. that. Girl, remember it that was his birthday. Oh. It was his birthday. And then, damn. <laughs> nah, we got to talk about that too. Hold on. Women trying to trap niggas. Hold on. No. Wait, so, I was nah, you wanted something more after you fucked? Like immediately after? Well, I wanted something more before, but after I was like, yeah, I definitely want but something more. But did he more. want something more? Or did you have to I didn't him? know because we were just flirting back and forth, and then that's when I told him, like January, I think it was January third. I was like, "Hey, um, you need to tell me, like, are we a relationship, or can oh I go talk God. to other guys?" Because my thing is, even if I'm talking to you, I don't want to kiss someone else, <laughs> I don't want to fuck someone else, like I just don't want to do I'm that. Come on, come on. <laughs> so yeah, Ooh, but I told him I want topic. you all of that. That's that was topic. me. I don't know what you think you did because you didn't do anything. Can I write that down? That's a topic. Women. <laughs> Damn. I mean, Women you even feel like you want to tell your story? Niggas in relationships. Why are we trapping? I mean, it's not really. I told him. It, it is, but we don't want to establish it. Do me or do I go and that's look for someone else? That's a trap. But you were not even going to do that. You that's was going to do that. I was going to do that. We're not going to do that. So the you're roster? expendable. That's the, the roster next... was full, babe. The roster was full. But I said no. The roster was full. So you made it. You better. That's the next subject we're going to talk about. Well, go ahead, Quincy. Tell us uh, Please, what happened. Tell me the lie that you that you made up because I have many people that just can't start away to get away with me. But go ahead. Oh, 
So, here's how it went down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be the best shit ever, bro. It's the best. I first noticed podcast, her walking bro. into the into the the lounge. It's a room of uh, it's a room. commuters mm. that that go to NSU where niggas hang out and shit. Yeah. So, she walked into the lounge. I was a Frequent goer already. So, <laughs> so I know the Sarah over there. I'm like, okay. I had, to, I had to make my presence known. I didn't just, you know, just, oh, hey, how, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I made my presence known indirectly. How? Yeah, it's your that. Indirectly. Paint us the picture, nigga. Yeah, indirectly picture. by being being who I am. Oh, okay, shit. I feel that. Okay. I feel that. Uh-huh. Sometimes you just... So so then, so oh, then you anyway. just hi, man. All the whole laugh. And she's like, this nigga kind of funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead, talk your shit. Go dog. ahead, <clears throat> So, anyways, yeah, she had a boyfriend at the time. That ain't mean nothing to you. So, you know, I needed a ride to the bus stop. <laughs> it wasn't just. It wasn't just. What just the fuck is that? Look, 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 look. <laughs> it wasn't just. I was on burn. It wasn't nah, just. Her. You gotta hear the context. Uh, uh, it was. It was she other had a boyfriend, but I needed a ride. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. What? Yo, look. It was other. It was other rides available. <laughs> What's it called? Sage. Oh, yeah, we're gonna drive a sage. But you know, I had to I had to turn him down. Wait, so I, had a, I had to sauce her up. Sage is our friend. It's yeah. a nigga. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. The, you denied the nigga right? Cause yeah. I was like, yeah. I'm okay. Strategic. <laughs> I'm okay, buddy. Uh, <laughs> hey, go on without me, bro. I'll meet you over there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be all right. <laughs> I can't help it. Dry cough, man. The weather changes. Surviving Florida. Surviving Florida. <laughs> the weather changes. The fucking fall. You're done. Yeah. But well, go ahead. December, by yeah. the way. Oh, I turned the ride, figured out, oh, she got a man. So I'm like, all right. So you just asked her the question or she? Yeah, so, yeah, you know, up. talking, da, da, da. And I'm like, okay, all right, you got a man? And then she's like, yeah, I got a boyfriend. I'm like, all right. But how did she say it? Like, uh, yeah, I got a boyfriend. Or like, yeah, I got a boyfriend. Like, happy, jolly. Or... No, it was not jolly. I was like, <laughs> and then I, I let her know. I was like, okay, all right, you let me know. You let me know. <laughs> hey, <laughs> bro. Let me know when hey, that let sh- me know when that shit is grit, right? Let me right? know when that shit end. Mm. Yo. Yeah. Said that shit. You a brown nigga for real. It was real. a couple, couple more rides. I said that many took, times. It was like just took a couple more rides. rides. It, like it just took only a couple more rides? And I just oh. asked her again. I was like, you still got that boyfriend? You still got that boyfriend or what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you a thirsty nigga low Wait, he's persistent. But he is. He is. You yeah. feel me? Hey, that's how a lot of niggas got their girls. Is that not, that's not dirty macking. Nah, he never dirty macking. He never dirty Mac. Yeah, he not, just. I'm not a checking in. You played it safe. You don't talk down on yeah. You, you just gotta check yeah, you respect it. You, yeah, you I respect it. I didn't talk down. I, I didn't. Like if you I was like, all right. One, that's that's dirty Mac. It's, nah. it's different. It's nah. different nah. time. Uh, different time zone. Only when you're talking down. I think. Well, it's something. It's something, but. It's like both. If it's not dirty Mac, it's definitely something. Because if I ask you once, I'm gonna ask you once. I'm not gonna keep asking you. If I keep asking you, I don't need to know. It's not my business. Not my bitch. I'm going to ask you one time. But if you keep, if I keep asking the shorty, like, yo, you still with that nigga? Like, obviously, I'm trying to do something, but it's like I'm trying to pry my way in. Nah, you trying to, you trying to be respectful. Yeah. Being respectful would be not to ask nothing. Nah, usually the dirty thing. What? Being respectful is asking. Yeah. I I already asked you, though. Yeah, but keep in mind, one, her energy, you got to, there's a lot of factors. Her energy, the way, her tone, and and that. If you you got it like that, she going to tell you, like, if they, if they have a rapport, they, they first link, they hanging out, whatever, or they talking in the car. Second time, they driving around. He's probably talking in the car. I have five minutes. It's I like not even a five minute ride. It's the shortest thing in the world. Quite nigga asked one question and rides on. He was no, a walker. I mean, I That's the bike gang. <laughs> yeah, she was going to let her like... not hubby hubby walk. Right? You feel me? Like... Ah. Yeah, I'm about to walk So that. let me ask you a question. If she had a nigga and she was like, Laptop head don't over explode heels in my back. She was head over heels with that nigga. He needed to ride and she was like, I, I can't do that. Do and she was like, exactly, right? And you what? Turn, and she was head over heels with her nigga, right? Okay. And your man Sage was like, yo, you need to ride. He's like, nah, I'm about to go, I'm about to go work, nigga. And then he's like, all right, I'm going to catch you. <laughs> Beer, drove off. If she's head over and she's heels over with heels her, her she's nigga. Like, Can I get a ride? She's like, my man wouldn't like that. And she skirt off on you. How are you going to get home? You would have walked. No, I would have took the. What? I took the the. NSU this nigga shuttle, is resourceful, nigga. And it's you shuttle yeah. to the bus stop, and then I'll just take a different bus stop. But when I go with her, I take I go to the the longer bus stop, the further one. 
Mm. Shout out to the one right there. Yeah. Uh, you drive down the road. Riz her shit up in, All in right, so five yeah, continue minutes. So that you could ask in. And then, and then I have the app so I can see when the bus is coming. Yeah. So we could pull off uh, by the Pollo, you know, wait five, ten minutes till the bus get there. Oh, she getting memories. Flashback, then, flashback. Boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Poyo. Oh my god, it was our first day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that Poyo. Yo, this <laughs> Remember the exact uniform you wore or some He's shit, like, oh my bro. God, the Poyo. So, yeah. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so what happened after? So you asked the oh, second yeah. time. You know, you still got that boyfriend? And she said, Meh. <laughs> He's whatever. Yeah, yeah. He's whatever. Oh, she said it like, eh, yeah. Yeah. And He's then you like, said, yeah. let me know. Right. Let me know again. Like, All right. Now. <laughs> I was actively trying to break up with him, but he was in Miami, and I didn't want to drive. Oh, he was in Miami, <laughs> Quincy? Oh, oh. Like, he was in Miami because we Hey, were bro, this nigga is hilarious. Bro. You from Miami? Yeah, that's why yeah. I said Miami and Broward. I went, I'm from Miami. I grew up in Miami. I went to high school in Miami, everything in Miami. Mm. But I came to college in Broward, so we were long distance, mm. and that was a big strain on our relationship. Yeah. So it was like, he didn't have a car distance. either, that's so I was supposed I mean, to drive from NSU yeah. to Miami just mm. to see him. It was just like, With a bike. I wasn't I wasn't about to do that when it was trash. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. And like, I just didn't, I didn't feel the connection. You You're not worth it. So basically she's saying if the dick was good, you would have you thought not about Not even it. because I didn't even feel the like connection. Oh, like man. the connection I feel with him, I didn't feel with him. Damn, that's some, that's some soul tie shit, right? <laughs> yeah. Critique that guy, bro. You that motherfucking and that's, nigga. That's that. Hey, and after Sherwoods, that, come on, what's up? Let me tell you about these Sherwoods, man. Nah, come on, like that's, that's it. Shit. Yeah, he knows I told the story. That's what's up. I already told the rest of the story. So then she came at you and at like, hold on. She, how was how was she? Wait, wait, wait. Let that go. I want to really hear this. You know, okay. I'm tuned in. Yeah. How would she be saucing me if she's in a whole relationship? I got her out of that relationship. <laughs> It was and into the, another one. No, no, you no, took her from the hood I'm and put her there. in the suburbs. <laughs> no. Yo, this nigga Quincy Big is body dangerous. Bands, remember, I used to be I dusty. will say that you opened my eyes to be like, damn, maybe I should be single right now. That nigga but then I was like, dang. I swear to like, God. I don't mean my girl blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't no nigga opening your eyes to nothing. <laughs> Yo, you guys have to understand that this kid was like, I was like his first real girlfriend. I took his shit. Like, he didn't know how to do anything. Like, nothing. Damn. So it was like, oh, I didn't want that. It was one of those. It was like so a he was experienced. Wheel. Quincy so was, was already like, a real fucker by then. For real. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Quincy yeah. was a real fucker by then. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey. Come on, you think that bike? That bike, come on, bro. That nah, bike been a lot of places. If I'm on that bike, dog. I'm a, I'm a fuck. So who's going to save <laughs> the world? You think I'm gonna ride this bike nah. and not know how to fuck? Nah, oh, baby. There's no way I'm biking a shorty's crib and not fucking. That's what I'm saying. And not learning how to fuck. Come on, man. Yeah, that's a fact. This is this bike is dick. Good, <laughs> this is bike music dick, baby. on the way, you know. Some good music. Sometimes, oh, how's the bike ride back? Sometimes home? it's about the journey. Oh, yeah. ah, I say that all the time. It's I swear to journey. God, bro, it's about the journey, it's bro. About the, about the journey. journey. Yo, what's crazy is that car ride back home after you just got some is crazy. Mm. It's, it's like majestic. Let me let me tell you about my it's time. In, it's majestic. Oh, hold on. It's like can we stop? That, I want to see how you lost your virginity. Me? Yeah. Shit, crazy. Um, I had a bike ride home experience too. All right, so how I lost my virginity, right? How old were you? Nigga, I was like fucking 19. Damn. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I was a late wow, boomer, but not that late. you guys don't wait over here, huh? Huh? Don't wait? You guys wait. Oh, you I didn't want to wait. Know, I, I didn't choose to wait. <laughs> I didn't happen. choose his life. It was in the car for me. Oh. So it's like, oh. all right, the thing about it is like, I was just mad shy and just mad. Just I was just uh, a shy baby. kid, you feel me? But all right, so my shit, um, I had, I had like met some female, you feel me? And we were just like messaging, DMing, you feel me? And then I'm on my playful, smooth shit, you know what I mean? And then that shit kind of worked. So she was just like, hey, we should go to a pool. That's why when she talked about her pool story, I'm like, it's always a pool. So yeah, I'm just like, I right, bet. We'll go to the playground. I'm always down to go to the pool. And keep on, I had a whip, you feel me? I had a car. So I ended up sliding in her crib. So <laughs> I slid to her crib, we go to the pool. There's like it's a community pool, and then there's like also kids in there. Shit. So we just like vibing. She's mad touchy. Keep in mind, this is the first link. It's not your girl. It's not my girl. Okay. First link, mad touchy, and I'm I don't really know how to maneuver about certain shit. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, I'm kind of being receptive to it. So now I'm like, I'm in my bag after a while. So now I'm touching her back. You feel me? I'm joking with her. I'm playing in the water. Shit, three feet because a nigga can't swim. So I'm just having fun. You feel me? So splashing the shit. Next thing you know, I'm just like, yo, come here. Pull her to me. And then next thing you know, I just go in for the kiss. So now, like, yeah, now I'm just kissing yeah. her. And then I want more. Like, as soon as I kissed her, I was like, oh, nah, I need horny more. Ass, <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's literally what happened. We were in the Yo! Horny oh, ass nigga Cabana. one, horny we ass nigga two. We were in the pool, transferred to Cabana, because we were like, yo, we gotta... Hey, bro, yeah. this shit crazy. So, yeah, I was just like, nah, I want more. So now it went from kissing to making out. And then now I'm literally making out with this girl, kids floating around and shit. That's what they came there. And I'm just like, all right, this is hot. It's mad wild. So I'm just like, yo, listen, this kind of crazy. She's like, who cares? So I'm like, in my mind... Poor. I didn't think about it after. Yeah. In my mind, I was like, oh shit, yes, this is lit. She don't care. But at the same time, it's not respectful. But I didn't think about it until probably like fucking a month later. I'm like, nah, that's some whore shit. She probably did this shit often. She probably said, come over. This Yo, is this is the spot. Often. Literally. This is the spot. So I'm like, bro. niggas in this pool all the time. You might be the next victim. Right? <laughs> Yo. And then she's like, I'm like, yo, we gotta go. Like, we gotta go somewhere. So she's like, oh, we can just go in the back of my parking lot. Another red flag. So I'm like, yo, what? Lost the <laughs> it's crazy. No, so, no. so yeah. So long story short, bro. Um, we end up going to the car. Once again, I'm nervous. I'm shy. I ain't really want to do it right there. So I'm just like, nah, nah, nah. Fuck it. Da da da. So went home. Wow. You feel me? Went home. Then the next day, she invited me over to her crib. I was like, I bet. I'm definitely fucking this time. In the crib. And she wants it, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to the crib. Yeah. Definitely fucking. I get inside the crib. I walk in, this shit's wild. I walk in, the way her her crib set up is just so weird. It's like you walk in and then there's like the living room right there and then like to the right, it's just nothing. It's like an open shit, but there's a room right there. So I'm walking, I'm just like, hey, bet, I'm about to go sit on the couch. Next thing you know, I look to my right, whole mom's right there. <gasps> so I'm like, what's going on right now, kid? <laughs> I'm fucking moms too? So like, then now I, I just, I'm walking. And then she's like, oh, hey. I'm like, hi. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, hey, hi. Never met that woman. Again. Never in my life. I'm like, hi. And then so, yeah, Um, now I kind of walk more to like the point where she can't see me. I look, I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you feel me? She's like, what? It's fine. So now there's like a, a air mattress, spring, some shit, whatever shit. So keep in mind, bro, I'm... I'm so unexperienced Damn, now. Just, like back then, nothing French. makes sense. This I'm just thinking, like, yo, bad. this is this is Was this she a vibe, nigga. We were just keep in mind, it's 19. We just got out of high school, so yeah. Oh yeah. So Was she in college. I don't. I don't know what she. You know, okay. she got the crib, so no. Yeah. So now I, I go. I have to go back. Now you guys. Tell me right. how this goes. Yeah. Bye. So now bye. everyone say bye to our guest. Everyone Tori. say bye to Tori and Quincy. We appreciate oh, y'all, nah, man. You can stay and hang out, bro. Nah, you gotta sit down. Get, get, get out the Caleb. But yeah, so with that being said, right? Um, I go on the fucking. She's like, oh, just go sit on the like, sit on the air mattress, or whatever. And I'm just like, I right, sit on that shit. You, you can. Nigga, we just making out and shit. I'm yeah, just like, oh, this, wow. Your mom is right to the right. You feel me? And then now I stop because once again, I'm just like, I'm always overthinking, and analyzing everything. Deuces. So I'm just like, bro, this is crazy. You feel me? So she's like, it was fine. I'm like, bitch, how? How? How is this fine? Bitch, how? How is this fine? <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, you know what? Whatever. If she's saying this, let me just listen to her. Now I just start kissing her. And then <laughs> now I'm just rubbing her. And then, you know, I'm doing a little thing thing. You feel me? A little thing thing. That's a little thing thing. And yeah, I'm just like, nah, nah, this is crazy. Jack and I'm just like, yeah, 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 nah, hey, we got to go to the whip. For real. This time when we go to the whip, we're going to the whip. So. She's like, yo, it's okay. Trust me, my mom doesn't care. I'm like, and keep in mind, I'm legit. I'm just like, bro, this is just wild. So context clues, we're Caribbean. We don't do no type of shit like that in people's houses. Bro, I know. <laughs> like, I'm just not. I like, barely go to the crib when the mom's is there. Why would, my I, friend. why would I violate when your mom is home? Yeah, so we ended up just going to the car, bro. I kind of expressed myself, you know, tell her how I didn't feel comfortable on some pussy shit. Realistically, she probably looking at like, yo, this is one weak ass nigga. Weak ass nigga. Like, look at this nigga, da 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 da. In the hindsight, you was the I'm, man that you is today. Yeah, so you mm. feel me? That's a fact, come on. Always respectful. So yeah, we go to the whip. 
You know what I mean? Just dim a little thing, you know? Little thing. Little thing. Okay, okay. And that's that. You feel See, me? I, I, had a, I had a bike story, too. So my shorty, the one who said that nigga could get it, mm. you feel me? Yeah. Because he lived in her neighborhood. Uh-huh. But I lived down the street from her. Yeah. Like, the next block over. Mm-hmm. So I used to go to her, her crib. And I, I told the story in another podcast, mm. but I'm going to tell it go again. Ahead. Tell it. I rode my bike to her crib, and... Not the thing, but I really can't remember too much what, like how it transpired. But I went to her crib. We used to go, used to go over it all the time. Rode my dog bike over there. Rode the bike to her crib. We chilling. And I don't remember like how we got to that point. Mm. But oh, now I remember now. All right, it was Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, maybe the fourteenth. Mm. We had went out to dinner, but I didn't really have money like that because I was a senior in school and I was in night school, so I really have money like mm-hmm. that. So we had went night school. Yeah, night school. So I was a delinquent. We had night school, so I didn't really have money for a job like that. We went to dinner the night before Valentine's Day, which is I think our anniversary. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Don't matter. Not my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, baby? Not my bitch. <coughs> we had dinner, but I had told her like, "Oh, let, let's go half." Mm. Cause I had no money. She didn't like that because she's a little bougie girl. That's she's the a, worst she's shit a nigga can do. She's like, she really like that. So she was upset by that day. So that night I was just back home. She wasn't. We nothing happened. Mm. She was upset. But then I had like explained to her like, you feel me? Like, this is where I'm at in life right now. Like. Like, I'm in school. Like, nothing. what you want me to do? Mm. So I guess she kind of forgave me and got and got over it. The next day I came over, and then I think that's what happened. We were supposed to fuck the night before, but she was upset. So then the next day we fucked. But we fucked, right? So before we fucked, I didn't have a condom on. So she, like, playing around with the shit. Yeah. Go in a little bit. Okay, grab a condom. Okay, I grab one. Bang, put that thing on. Mm. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> right? Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> and then she had to go. She's like, I'm a, I gotta go to some shit. I'm gonna be back in like an hour or so. To come back over. We can fuck again. Say less. Yeah. I'll get on my bike. Ha. Happy. <laughs> Happy. I'm like, oh yeah. I got me one. <laughs> yeah, well, 100%. Easy keep one. I got Easy me one. Keep. I got me one. I'm on a bike back to the crib. I, I didn't go home. I went straight to my dollhouse because. Back then, it was me and my homies, two, two of us. We had like a a, a virginity pack. Oh, okay. So like my homie we'll break lost his. Break shit first? My, he, yeah, he lost his first. Then my dog lost his, and I was the last one. Mm. So I went to his crib. I was like, yo, Nigga. I'm in this shit. It happened. I'm in this bitch. <laughs> He's like, yo, you did him. Like, yeah, bro, I need some more condoms. That bro. nigga just got jumped in the gang, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo. Yeah. Well, I need more. I need some more condoms. He's like, I got you. Can you stack yo. full? Hey, hey man, shout out to the homeboys who give out condoms, condoms bro. I got you. Give me a shot. I said, yeah, I got back on my bike. <laughs> Fine. Got back over there. I said, yeah, drop and drop. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I said, yeah, baby, let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> so I'm doing the same shit she was doing. I grabbed yeah. the tip. Yeah. Then I grabbed a condom, put it on. Fine. She said, hold up. You ain't have a condom on this whole time? I said, no. Nah. Wait, what? <laughs> She's like, you didn't have a condom on this whole time? I was mm-hmm. like, no. <laughs> so then it got mad, quiet, and awkward. So I'm like, roll over off of her. She's like, panicking. Because she's a very smart girl. Like, she went to an Ivy League. Like, she was like, I don't want to get pregnant. Yeah. Like, panicking and shit. I'm like, you're not going to get pregnant? I don't got pre came. <laughs> like, I was just doing what you was doing. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> You feel me? And she was tripping. So I'm like, what you want to do? Like, plan, plan B. B. <laughs> so I have, I had no bread. The only thing to my name of value that I had at that time at 17 years old was my Xbox 360. Oh my, you went to GameStop? That I used to come home every day to and play 2K You went to GameStop? I went to GameStop. Oh Oh my. Yo, GameStop got so much souls. I swear to God. They took my soul four times. Why for that? Pause. Oh. I think the owner of GameStop is a woman, though. Yeah. Uh, Maybe CEO. Or CEO. 
CEO might be on there. Nah, but yeah, GameStop, bro. They, so I went there. I'm like, yeah, I got an Xbox 360. The motherfuckers gave me like thirty dollars, thirty six dollars, some shit like that. <laughs> but I had yeah. enough. You gotta eat shit. That's I had it. enough, and it was last minute because she like the last day. This girl called me, cussing me out. Mm. Mm. Motherfucker. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, he's got never fucking her again. Got the, <coughs> got the money up. <laughs> you feel me? Got the money up. Not your funny up. Got the bill. Got the got the shit done. I think you had to be eighteen to buy it. So yeah. I think I had to have one of my dogs buy me the shit. Mm-hmm. And then I got it for her, and we was good. And then I think we was good after that. I don't even think we would be. Since after that, I don't really know. Yeah. But yeah, I basically I sold my Xbox for Plan B, oh like a God. goofy when I didn't really need to. No, you did. I didn't really need to. You probably didn't, but I probably didn't. Yeah. But better safe than sorry. That's what I told myself back then. Better safe. Now as a grown man, I'm like, you are goofy. I would have mm. laughed at myself. Yeah, hundred percent. Yo, you sucker, you nigga. Was, you should have kept. No, I can't even say that. Mm. You, you, mm. 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 I can't even say that. Mm. But yeah, he's a sucker, nigga. <laughs> You the sucker, nigga. Oh, yeah, you just were wild then. All right, let's see. All right, next topic. Let's talk about what we were just talking about. Women trapping niggas in relationships, right? So here's a perfect example of that. When you fuck with a girl, you fuck with a woman trapping niggas in relationships. Mm -hmm. Niggas do it too, but we're talking about relationships. Like the shorty you fuck with a girl, or she'll be like, we can't fuck unless, I'm not fucking nobody unless you're my boyfriend, my girlfriend, Mm -hmm. right? So you talking to a shorty, you trying to get with her, and she's like, I'm not fucking you unless you my man. Mm. But you just trying to fuck, right? So mm. she'll like coerce you and date and do little shit just so you get the poems. Mm. Oh, let me go back to Tori's story. What Tori said, she was like... Because of Disney. Nah, but she like, she trapped that nigga Quincy, though. Oh, tra- Quincy. Low key. Not trap him, but she trapped him because she was like... She gave that thing. She gave it up. And then hit him with the what are we? Which is like, whoa, we? I thought we was just, I thought we mm-hmm. was just fucking. What are we? We is fucking. <laughs> she said she put a pussy on him because she wanted him. See, and I'm telling you a story because that's a bad example. But a woman will like a nigga, knowing full well maybe this nigga don't even want nothing mm-hmm. serious right now, or she not in a position to even <laughs> take nothing serious right now. But but she liked that nigga. And she don't want nobody else having them. Oh, he got good dick. Da 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 da. That's mine. Mm. So she'll fuck the nigga. Mm. Boom, they fuck. Kind of, you know. That's... And then she'll be like, "No, oh, no, the fuck. It's cool. Okay, we fuck. It's cool. Da 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 da. Yeah, it's fun. Fuck again. Mm. Oh, it's cool. Da 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 da. It's cool. It's fun. You just thinking, I got some shit to fuck. Mm. I'm cool. I'm chilling. I'm fucking. We fucking. Mm. Right. But the thing with women is different than men. Cause I read it somewhere. Women release some kind of like chemical. Yeah. When they having sex, it's a. Uh, is it serotonin, dopamine? It's one of them mm-hmm. chemicals that come out of women when they have sex with a man. So, like, it makes them like you more. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But as for men, men don't release that chemical. Okay. Like we just scientifically don't. Women do, men just don't. Okay. So that's why women get more attached to men when they have sex mm-hmm. than men just that, that, that don't. <clears throat> so, boom. Chemicals is flowing. So we just fucking and now it's like, well, what are we doing? Because if we're not together, I want to go see other people. Mm. Now, as a nigga, that's like an ultimatum without saying it's an ultimatum. It's you ultimatum. in a pickle. So yeah. it's like, well, hold up. You done gave me the pussy. Pussy good. I'm chilling. I'm vibing. Now you telling me I, you gonna take it away if I don't <laughs> if I don't lock you down? I'm gonna take it away. It's you crazy. Gonna fuss, you gonna fuck with somebody else? So now it's a trap. Because in your mind you're like, nah. I ain't losing this. I'm not losing that. Yeah. And at the same time, it's like it's like a guilt trip because you feeling like you gotta do it. Mm-hmm. It's like the thing to do. It's the because, right thing to do. I mean? It's the correct thing to do. You have sex with somebody, you should be with them. Do the right thing. And then boom, now you now you're in a relationship forever, how many long, because y'all had sex and she's just mm-hmm. gonna do some shit. But women be doing that shit. They do. Niggas do it too. Niggas will try women. Niggas will see a baddie and, and be put like, a baby in her. Fuck. Put a baby in her. I'm getting her out the game. Yo, it's I'm crazy. I'm locking that shit up. 
If I'm the BD, can't nobody beat me. It's you feel know I me? Mean? Like, bro. I'm the BD, can't nobody beat me. Yeah, niggas is crazy. Niggas will see a baddie and put a seat in her immediately. Take her out the game. And it's I've just seen like, that happen yo, way too many times. I've seen it happen too often. <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, that's crazy. Jackie Sad. I don't know. I knew a girl back in like high school. We used to be friends. She started fucking with this one nigga and just went ghost to the world. I never heard from this girl again. A year or so later, she pop up, she got a baby by that same nigga. I'm like, damn. Mm. Nigga abusive, beating her, doing all kind of shit. Girl, ghost on the world. Pop back up again like a year or two later, she got two kids now. I'm like, God damn. But this girl hey, mind man. is so warped around this nigga that anything she do regarding any other nigga besides him, she feel like she's doing complete wrong. A nigga could be in the store. Shout out to that girl, and man. And she can sneeze. Achoo! Nigga say, bless you. She running. Oh, she got Get the fuck away from me. My man gonna beat my ass. Cause you telling me. Bad PTSD nigga type her head of up bad, bro. shit, bro. Fucked up bad. Crazy. Now she just got two kids. Nigga not even there no more. Sad shit. Shout out to all the single moms, man. Yeah, shout out to single moms, man. Y'all got some problems, but you feel me? Who shit. don't? Who don't, but y'all all right. definitely strong. I see, I was gonna have one strip club etiquette, but you don't like the strip club. <clears throat> strip club etiquette is a motherfucking thing, though. You ever a strip club? I mean, yeah, but I just don't care for it. Would you, would, why? <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> but the first time I went to a strip club. I guess my thing is, it's cool and all, but bro, these women are just sirens. They try mm. to, they try to give me, give me the money you owe me, old That's man. That's all they do, bro. You feel right? me? And just. <laughs> How many times I got to teach you this lesson, old me. man? Like, bro, that. And it's just like, bruh, I feel like the environment itself is just not It's a for very, me. yeah. The way I feel about the strip club is how I feel about getting bottles at the club. If you ain't got no money, to get broke ass home. That's a fact. Straight up. Because. That's also probably a case, too. Like, the, the times I went to the strip club, nigga, I had like 20 on me, nigga. Yeah. That ain't going to do nothing. I'm not going to do shit for you except what, damn. You might get a dance out there. And even then, you got to be direct and firm. You got to be on your shit. Strip club bro, etiquette. Yeah. That See? second, bro, they'll make See, this that is what fucking... At a strip, this is what happened with my first time at a strip club, right? Me and my homies went, and um, you feel me? I ain't know nothing. Because I'm playing. I'm thinking about like GTA. When you get a stripper mm, or some yeah. shit, you just throw mm, money. Right, yeah. So I had a fat knot of money. Because I used to do valet, so I had tip money. Fat... Like this thick yeah. of ones and some other shit. Like this thick. We go to the strip and you feel me? I'm just there. So Shorty comes to the table and she's like, You wanna dance? Hell yeah. Got his ass. She dancing. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Song done. Okay, that's ten dollars. I'm like, I just gave you ten. Nah. That's my tip. Hey, bro, get the fuck away from me. Nah. So she took the shit. So I'm like, all right, boom. Then. <laughs> I just gave you time. I was like, I don't even want that. I thought she was just trying to dance with me. He's like, nah, bro, you got to go get a private dance. Like, all right, bet. I got this. We go to another strip club. We go to Tootsie's now. We're at Tootsie's. I'm like, yo, let me get a dance. It's for my shorty. Get a dance. Right? But she's just dancing, talking, vibing, bum, 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 having a good time. Like, all right, cool. Out of there. How much are you, 25? 50. Whoa. 50? Yeah, that's two songs. Bro. Two songs? You ain't tough. They don't, they'll never tell you. They'll never tell you. And the bouncer right there looking at you like, right, nigga, pay up, nigga. Pay up, nigga. Shit, get But that's your ass. Shit, get treacherous. Treacherous in this, treacherous bitch. In this bitch. I'm like, all right, here, take this shit. So from that moment on, I learned you got to be very very verbatim with these girls, bro, because they yeah. will take your last dollar and then beat you up about it. So now when I go to the strip club, I put 25, one pocket, 25, other pocket. Mm -hmm. I keep the rest of my money in my back pocket. I feel that like... first 25 is for a dance that I want and then for tip. my choosing, because here's where they get you also. Here's where they don't tell you, is you get to choose. Yeah. You can say no. Yeah. But when a girl, when you at the table though, and a girl come up and hey, you want to dance, you feel like you gotta take it. I don't. Some I mean, niggas nigga do, like nah. Some niggas do like yeah, like all right, cool. They're so you go take brokey. Okay. Yeah. Shit. So me, 
Now I'm like, okay, I'm picking my shorty. So what I do is I go to the stage now, and I peep the scene. When a girl comes to me, hey, you want to dance? No, not right now. I'm chilling. I'm taking a drink, smoking a little bit. I'm going to come find you. Don't worry. Mm. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. So I go to the stage, and I peep the scene. So now I'm just like looking up at this goddess, shaking that ass. Or I find one that I like, that like, you know, mm. get it going for me. I'm like, oh, I like her. So she goes to the stage. I'll be like, yo, I want to dance from you. Okay, come find me after the stage. Okay, I got you. Tip her some money. Let her know I'm for real about my shit. She get off the stage. I go grab her now. All right, we go. Go. We got to dance. I'm ready for my dance now. We go back. So now, what you got to know, when you get in that back room, you got to say, you got to wait for the song. If a song is playing, yeah, don't. wait for it to finish. Yeah. She start dancing before the song start finish. Whoa, hold on. Chill out, baby. That's just, how you yeah. doing? What's your name? Oh, you go to school? Oh, okay. Keep it going. Keep it conversation moving. Now, when the song stop playing, you could be like, all right, let's go. Mm. Or to a song that you're liking. Mm. Okay, let's go. Boom. Get your little dance. Yada, yada, yada. As soon as that song is done, all right, thank you. Get out. Because mm -hmm. if you go a second past that next song, that's two songs. That shit's great. So you got to pay for two dances. So you pay the one, you get the fuck on. So I've used that first one, bomb. Then I got my other 25. That's for the next dance that I want from whoever. I pick that one up, bomb. Good. Now at that point in time, if you're not a nigga with like buku money at a strip club and you just trying to have some a good little time, that two 25s, that should be the last thing you motherfucking spent for the night. You cool, you didn't get everything you needed. Yeah. It's nothing, it's nothing for you in the strip club but problems and debt. That's it. Ain't nothing else in there for you unless you're trying to go fuck one of them girls. And that's debt because you're going to spend a good amount of money to go fuck them. That's crazy. You're going to have to spend a good amount of money to go fuck them. So it's like, at that point, you don't need to mm. do nothing else. Let them other niggas that's blowing money blow their money. You know what I mean? It's a strip club. They're not for you anyways. Niggas be getting their feelings about the dimes in the strip club. Like, oh, damn, she don't want to fuck with me no more. She don't want to dance with me. They for everybody. She for everybody. The old for everybody. Whoever got the bread. She... And you know when it, it's another tip niggas do? This is how you know when a nigga really got that shit. He come to the strip club. He just sit down. He get whatever stack of money he just ordered out. He just sit at the table with the money there. That's the sign. Say, whoop, whoop. Bitches, bitches, yeah. bitches, bitches, bitches. And the bitches come through. Hey, daddy. Hey, you want something? Can I get you a drink? Da, 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 da. That money on that table mean I'm here to spend some money. This this not gotta go. Mm. I gotta spend this money. That money gotta go. I can't be here with that shit. And then that's how you know. So I learned that. I one time we had went to uh, I think it was like Cheetahs, and we walk up in the bitch, and a shorty come grab me right away. Hey, da 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 da. I gotta use the bathroom. Don't go nowhere. You're my boyfriend for the night. I'm like, okay. You got that nigga. Got my. She went to the bathroom. I'm looking at coming with my homegirls and my niggas. I'm like, bro, save me. Help me, please. He's looking at me like I'm just, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Shorty come back. I'm like, she's like, oh, you wanna dance? You wanna do this? I'm like, look, baby, I ain't gonna lie to you. No. Mm. Hell no. Nah. I'm not gonna try to do none of that. Like, you know, fuck with you. You cool. This ain't that. This that ain't myself. this. You feel me? Like I ain't. I'm not here for that. So now, when I go to the strip, keep 25 and one, 25 and the other, that 50 or whatever else I hold. I throw them shits on the, on the, on, the, on the stage. That's Just crazy. bump, 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 bump. 25 dollars for three seconds is nuts. It's not worth it, bro. Strip club is not worth it unless like I just don't see. Like, it make me feel like I ain't shit if I don't got money in the strip club. So niggas spending money and it make you feel like you less than because no. you don't have money I'll, to I'll throw be, away. I'm happy to be less than. Hey, me too. So less that. than sign, nigga. Yeah, man. Shout out to strip clubs, man. Shout out to the Shout workers. Out to the strippers, the workers, the dancers, whatever y'all want to call yourself. Yeah, dancers. Some of the strippers be cool dollars. though. I be like talking to them. Like I be like Bro, drinking that bitch. Like you at don't the end of the day, this. they're they're people. You don't gotta do this, baby. A lot of them got personality and shit. Yeah, Shout one out to of them, them was man. like she was like a in school for something studying. Some of you real cool. Fuck. Some of you real cool, but you know. All right, next topic. We got more topics or what? That's it? 
What are some misconceptions people have about you? Bro, I feel like we should go back to, oh. Go back to what? <laughs> Surviving? Yeah. But we can just do whatever. And just, I'm just reading just off up. my notes. Um, Yo, hold on real quick. Are we, what? Look in the camera. I know the camera's on. I'm not. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm having a conversation with you, though. He's looking at you in the camera, though. No, I'm no, like that's talking fine. to each other. Yeah, hey, some inception. <laughs> what? They can say, I'm talking to you. Which one? <laughs> Who kicked me? <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> but, yo, we still asking more questions? How long has shit been? Um, what if this whole time's not been recording? No, I see. That'd be crazy. That, yo, this is the legendary podcast. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this shit, one and done. The first and last podcast. First and last podcast. Hey, Coming to you, you said, quick, fast. I'm going to try to make it quick. because Misconceptions like people have about you. That I got, I got hoes. I got bitches. Me too. Yeah, I was going to say that too. What? I think bitches got, I got hoes. Yeah. Niggas swear I'm Mr. Bitches. Yeah, I text to a nigga like, yo, what's up? Da, 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 da. Oh, you the one that got all the bitches? Like, whoa. Where this came from? Yeah. You ain't never seen me with no bitch. That's a misconception for sure. Mm. Misconception, I think, people think about me is, one, I got lots of hoes, which I don't. People be thinking like, yeah, that type of shit. But like, I be really shy. And I don't even like real approach girls like that, for real mm. like that. Like, I like it be subtly. But like, I don't just out here bagging shit up to right. They be thinking like, Oh, you got hoes, you got bitches, you da 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 da. It's like, mm. no, not really. Kind of lonely, actually, but you know. Kind of lonely. <laughs> kind of lonely. She getting dark Wish and deep. I had a companion, she but getting... I don't. Yeah. What other misconceptions I think? Um, you think you what? Been to jail? Oh, because you got the face tats. Yeah, that'll yeah. do it. That'll do it. That'll do it for sure. Oh, face tats? Yeah. How many times have you been to jail, Caleb? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bitches think I'm toxic. I don't know where they get that from. Or I'm a player. I don't know where they get that from either. Um, what else? What else? Uh, uh, that I'm the leader of the group, you know? She's crazy. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so. That I'm the host of the show. That's another misconception people have about me. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Fucking it's host. not. Yo, that shout out to the host of the show, man. T T C Steezy Keat One, Steezy T D D, Chef Boy R Steve. God damn, can I breathe, nigga? No, how much the... names you got? <laughs> Plenty. Shit. Uh, name for everything. Identity crisis. Mm. Mm. The lamest shit I ever did to impress a girl. I can tell you what some niggas did to impress a girl. I mean, I feel like the lamest shit I've did, personally, is like I used to be one of those niggas. I revved my fucking whip. Like, you feel me? I had an M3 and shit. So, nigga, I just, I see like a baddie come out of goddamn TJ Maxx type shit. I'm like, oh, damn. Pull up real quick. Keep on. I had probably one of the cleanest cars in Broward at the time. It was a blue M3, um, Avis blue, powdered, uh, white, white powdered uh, wheels. Like, the shit was, it was crazy. So, yeah, I pulled up and I had, uh, uh, I had a racing seats. I had um, brides. So, yeah, if you're a car nigga, you know. So I pulled up, 95 M3, man. I just pulled up, off rip. My shit already sounds crazy. Turbo? Nah, not even turbo. You feel me? You had turbo? Nah, that, that was the next whip. So this was like all motors. So pulled up, next thing you know, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and my shit was stick. So you feel me? I'm just in neutral, just nah, wow, wow, wow. That shit. Did not go as expected. Did it work? Hell no. Nah. She looked like, what the fuck? She looked loud. Like, yo, what is this nigga doing? She looked loud in my ear. And I'm thinking like, yo, I'm not a Honda nigga. You feel me? It's not like the Honda boys when they do it. It's a, it's a clean ass M3. You feel me? So I'm just like, yo. But they don't know that. Yeah. So I'm just doing that shit. She had like the stinkest face. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I put that back at first. I'm like, okay. I'm let going me, home. Let me get about it. <laughs> yeah. Slowly went. I'm just like, mm, I don't um, think I've ever done anything. But yeah. Truthfully speaking, lame shit to get a girl. No, this is some real nigga shit. This is not even me trying to be funny. The lamest shit I probably could have done to get a girl was pretend that I like her. That's lame. I mean, that's what 90% of niggas do. That's what niggas do. But shame I learned, on you niggas. And I shame on you. Shame on you niggas. 
But no, nah, honestly, that probably the lamest thing that I could do was either that or no, nah, I can't even say pretending to be someone I'm not because I never did that shit. I can't be nobody but myself. But pretending to like a girl just so I could like fuck with her. Mm-hmm. That's probably the lamest shit anybody could do. That's lame. That's lame as fuck. Be yourself. Be direct. Just be yourself. Be, be direct. Be intentional. If she's yours, she's yours. If not, you're grits, buddy. Yeah, man. Come on, bro. You're out here in Florida, nigga. Woman capital, nigga. Ain't no reason to fake it till you make it, nigga. Just be real. If you, bro, women love the real nigga. The realness. Like, they love the real nigga. They love the direct approach. You feel me? Just say it how it is. Just don't be like, yo, bitch, I'm trying to fuck. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Just be like, yo, listen, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm you got one more talk to left. I'm gonna ask you what you wanna do. Go ahead. Best overall animes, top three, mm. or the last time you cried and why? <laughs> um, I gotta answer all of it, or no, I you choose? Can pick, pick what subject you wanna touch. All right, let's see. Top three animes, yeah, or the last time you cried and why? Um, I guess the last time I cried was pretty much. I think it was pretty recent, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. So I think it was like pretty recent. When I say recent, I mean within like the last six months. On some just. Olo shit. So, yeah. I just pretty much didn't feel appreciated. I just feel like mm. a lot of just the things that I do, the hard work that I realistically just be putting in and investing within myself and just trying to be, like I guess, a better person overall kind of gets overlooked at because there's probably something other that's happening and they're more putting more focus in that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, yeah, I just felt like, yo, I was unappreciative, like, fucking lonely. I just wanted lonely. to be appreciated. I was lonely, and then just, like, I feel like I didn't deserve, like, I'm not deserving of certain things that occurred to me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I fucking, I was at the neighborhood pool. I was, you know, I was in my fucking... Feels? Yeah, I was in my feelings. Uh, yeah, I just just cried and then I was in the water and then that's also when I had called you and I was like, yo, listen, bro, pull up. Like, just pick me up. And then you was like, yo, bro, I'll come get you but you're not going home today, though. You'll come home the next day. And so you're going to space? Nah, that was when you were, you had a, you had some shit you were doing with like your friends. And then you was like, yo, I'll drop you back off. Oh, that time. Yeah, so. Oh, that was a time, though. That was, yeah. That would have been shit. a time. But yeah, you would have had fun that night. I just cried, and then that's just that. Damn. But yeah, I remember that. It's I crazy. Cry. You never know what the fuck people really be going through, and just like the strongest soldiers, you feel me? At the yeah, end, yeah, I didn't even day, know you cried that night. They just be that's going crazy. through it, man. So yeah. Last time I cried. The last time I cried, and it was out of frustration. It was because Caleb was being mean to me mm-hmm. that day. Okay. Caleb was like turning up on me. Yeah. Cause I said that I want to do some shit. Yeah. He was turning up on me. And then I had called this nigga like, yo, what's up with these? Like, what's up with y'all niggas? Like, y'all niggas yeah. are turning up on me. And I was already depressed. And I was just like, why y'all niggas turning up on me? And I just told y'all niggas I miss y'all and I'm depressed. And mm-hmm. y'all niggas is coming at me like y'all don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I felt like it was a lot of like unfairness and certain shit. So like I was like crying out of frustration, mm. just like upset. Cause I'm like, bro, y'all niggas not hearing me. Like I'm telling y'all what's going on. It's like y'all niggas not hearing me. And like I just got upset. You mm. feel me? And then another time I had cried. Well, I don't think I cried. I wanted to cry, but I, I, it just didn't come out. I had seen a dead body oh, at yeah. the job that one time. Like. I have, so I'm a locksmith, and this uh this family calls to open a door for they they dad or whatever, mm. and I went to go open it, 
but it was giving me some problems. So he's like, I'll go through the window. So I hopped through the window. And it was his neighbors was the ones who called, really, because they're like, yo, we ain't seen him in a while. He's usually outside, sitting on the porch. He's not outside. Like, you trying to see what's going on with him. So I went through the window, and then I go through the window in his room, and I see him. He just laid out mm. dead. Like, his pants between his legs, and he had his cane in his hand. He's an older dude. He had his cane in his hand. He just laid dead on the floor, face down. And, like, his bathroom sink was, like, still running. And, like, like when I got in the room, I was just like, damn. damn. That's crazy. It was sad, bro. Like, I was just like. Bathroom sink still on? Still on. It's surreal. Like, I don't know why it was on, but it was on. I'm just like, damn. Feel me? Oh, this, so this is, it, it all stemmed from that. It all stemmed from that. Why I cried stemmed from that. Because. Oh, yeah, that all happened. It all happened within, like, the same couple days. Yeah. So, cuz on the floor, and like, I'm just naturally scared of dead bodies, even at a funeral. Like, the nigga could be dead, and I'm scared to go up to the casket. Mm. Cause I'm like, what if he wake up mm. and grab me or something? I don't know. Mm. I'd be thinking weird shit. I'm like, what if he grab me or some shit? I'd just be scared of dead bodies. So, nigga had his dead body on the floor, and he didn't start, I'm thinking he gonna start stinking and shit, cause I don't know how long he was there. So, I was scared to even walk past him. But I opened the door. And, you know, I let the neighbors know, like, yeah, he's he gone, he gone, he gone. So, like, they all kind of just sad, like, because they're older, too, so they're all just quiet and sad and, like... Yeah, it's like a, damn, it's us soon. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. thinking, like, damn, I'm like, damn, this shit's sad, because I'm like... I'm thinking, like, from both perspectives, like, his kids, they was like, they gonna come see him, but they didn't come see him. And then, you feel me, the other one was working... So you got to call some nigga to come open the door to check on your dad. So I'm thinking from like his perspective, like, damn, I should have been the one to go open the door and mm. go find my pops. A random nigga came in my house, in my pops house, seen him with his ass out, dead, and now I couldn't see him. So then I'm thinking about it from that perspective. Now I'm thinking about it from the dead dude, like, damn, my son didn't come see me. And now this nigga's in my house, see me with my ass out, dead on the floor. So I'm just like, damn. Like, everything is hitting me. I'm like, fuck, that got to suck. And then on top of that, I had to charge a nigga like 250 to do it. So I felt bad because I'm like, I was like, I'll Shit. pay whatever to do it. But I was going to pay because it's like, bro, it's an emergency situation. Like, and I'm around dead bodies. Like, it's, it's complicated. So I charged them expensive because it's like, bro, I'm traumatized too, nigga. Yeah. So... I'm like, I ain't want to call him and tell him, like, yeah, I found him. He dead. Send that 250, though. Mm -hmm. I ain't want to do that. So I felt like that's, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? So, like, I felt, I was feeling everything, like, damn, this sucks all around. And that's when I texted y'all, and I was like, yo, I hope when we get older, we all got keys to each other's cribs or someone got access to each other's houses. Mm -hmm. So we don't never got to call no random person to come open the door and see us however we is. Laid out, Type dead. Shit. Like, if I'm butt naked, dead, no homo. I rather my niggas or my kids to come find me that way than a random person. But someone told me, <laughs> so someone told me though he was. They was like, like even though that might have happened, you helped him out. Yeah. Like you was the one who to get him up out of there and help him out because nobody else would have did it. If his, if his if his neighbors didn't give a fuck about him like that. Hey, shout out to his neighbors, man. No, nah, for real. What's his name? Well, have Vincent. a good neighbor. Hey, shout out to Vincent from St. Vincent. You are loved, brother. Shout out to good neighbors, man. If his neighbors did not give a fuck about him, nigga would have been in there. Just right. dead. And it's like, when you look through the window, you can't see because his bed is like right here. You mm. can't see him. If you go in the room, he's literally right next to the bed. So they're like, we don't know where he at. We don't know where he at. We don't know if we're going to see him. Because literally right there the whole time, and they cannot see him. So if they didn't give a fuck about him, he would have been in there rotten. Mm -hmm. So someone was like, you got to think about it like this. You were the one to come and get him out of there, basically. So you don't feel too bad about it. Like, But, you know, just something to think about. But, yeah, that's the last time I cried. Man, yeah, she's man. getting deep, man. She's deep. But with that being said, move with love. You know what I mean? Move with love. Move with love. Always, all right? Always. Listen, like, subscribe, follow, tell your mama, her mama.
her aunt, your aunt, everybody. Tell everybody in the world about the movement. All right? If you want to be a guest on our show, hmm. just subscribe, you know, just let us know. We'll see what we can uh, do for you, man. We'll see what you can do, man. Listen. At, at the end of the day, a night. So I'm trying to hit Nisha. Nisha? But I thought you wanted Jasmine Renee. We already locked in.